I'll, uh... <clears throat> Frog and throat. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Oh, God, camera. Camera weird. Camera is weird. There we go. Still weird. This way? No, this way. Kill. Okay, so, today, we're making the thing there. <laughs> that thing being a shulker shell farm. Uh, why is music not working? Um, please retry the authentication process. Computer, computer authenticate. So we brought a couple streams ago uh, a shulker. Oh, is it not there? What the heck? No, it's there. We brought this guy over here a while ago. This is our little friend. He is going to be the one that is powering said shulker farm. Uh, I don't have any of the materials together to actually do this farm yet. <laughs> it, it, I wasn't sure when I was going to actually work on this farm, but the day has come. Uh, so let's see here. Which schematic is this? Apparently the only one I have. Um, yeah, so this farm is by ending credits. Uh, probably one of the better farms that I've seen for farming shulker shells. Super simple, super efficient. Uh, there's some stuff that's not actually on this list um, because like there's snow golems and stuff over there, which we don't have. Uh, but what I will do is we need to start with scaffolding. <sighs> Basically, I need a shulker box of scaffolding, but I kind of want to collect all of the scaffolding I have because I might have that much scaffolding just sitting around various places over the server. Uh, let's go to our main storage over here and see, do we have an empty shulker box pull from here? So we need 19 stacks. Well, there's two. We're off to a great start. <laughs> Amazing. Let's check all of these shulker boxes. I see 12. I see a decent amount there. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. So, not a ton, not a ton, but that, that doesn't mean much. We might have plenty back at my base. Uh, and if I don't, we can just make a bunch with string and bamboo. And we have some bamboo here, and I have a, a bamboo farm back at my base. String, I probably have a bunch of string from my barter farm. So let's head back to my base, see what we have over there for scaffolding. Snag that up and see how much left there is to actually like make. Might be a lot. <laughs> Very possibly could be quite a bit. It's been a while since I've made some. I've been pillaging all of the scaffolding I've had in the past. None in there, none in there, none, none, none. Anything in here? Nope. 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 Oop, string. There's some string. Okay, so we have plenty of string so we can make a ton. I can't believe there weren't any in here. That's kind of surprising. Ooh, uh, oh, I guess I've used all the rockets. That's sad. Uh, what about in here? No, no, no. We definitely checked all of these. Nothing. Okay, I guess we're, we're gonna be making the rest of this. So I have over here, I think. Yeah, this thing is filled with bamboo. So we're going to take the string, the bamboo, we're going to make a bunch of scaffolding. Oh, good, just right here, look at that. <laughs> That's a lot of bamboo, but it's still not enough, right? We need 19, so this would be 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. Clear this out, see what that gives us. Probably gonna run out of string, no? Okay, we're definitely going to get a lot of bamboo and string being used here. Oh, no, don't wanna plant that. Give me that back, please, thank you. Scaffolding, that might be enough. Nope, oh wait, hold on, I saw more. 
Yes? Okay. That's enough. Good. We have all of the scaffolding we need now. While we're over here, we should probably try and get the rest of the stuff we need. That's a lot of smooth, what is that? Smooth stone slabs. Uh, that will do over there. Stone brick stairs will do over there. Glowstone, 23 glowstone. Glowstone would be like from the witch farm. I might have brought some of that over here. If not, we could go to the witch farm and get some. I feel like I have a ton there. I haven't been to the witch farm in forever. Is there any over here? No. Sometimes I would consider glowstone part of uh, potion brewing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay, that's fine. We will um we will get some from the witch farm. Do I have a chest that I can empty out and just take a bunch of stuff? A shulker. We should put the string away. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? There's some string chill in here. Let's put that away. Okay. This can go away, and then, hmm. This is a lot of junk. So I'm going to clear this shulker box out and just put it all in here. This is going to be our junk box. Eventually I should go through and clean all this. Seriously, I just unlocked a new recipe this late in the season. I don't, I don't even understand. <laughs> That's very strange. Uh, okay, so we have this. We'll go get some supplies from the witch. It's getting nighttime. Let's let's sleep real quick. <sighs> okay, to said witch farm to grab some glowstone. I've shut the door in my face. Uh, through the nether. I should have enough rockets for this. Uh, spawn this way. We. Oh God. What happened here? Zach Zet. Okay. <laughs> this is the spawn shops. It's got to be down this hallway. I'm not sure what's going on here, but let's uh, make that nicer. One day I will do something with these nether tunnels. I should get an item filter for glowstone at the raid farm because technically I get witch drops from that too. Okay, so this is the witch farm. Standard witch farm. Nothing super special about it. Except I f had bees going here too. Which eventually that is going to end up over at the main industrial district. Uh, glowstone. That's enough glowstone. Oh, look at me. I'm so smart. I gave myself a shulker box right here. Let's put an empty one in its place. Amazing. Look at all this good, good stuff. So many things, so many things. Not, not a lot of redstone, but I don't really use this much. I haven't been out here in forever because I've been mainly getting those drops from the raid farms. I might come out here to relocate those bees. At some point, I really want to add a bee farm to the industrial district. Okay, to the industrial district. I don't know realistically that anything else that I need can I get from anywhere but over there like the smooth stone and stuff basalt generator to our uh, smelter setup 
And everything else is just basic stuff, observers and whatnot. Oh, you know what I do need that I don't have? I need pumpkins because I think I need like five snow golems for this. We need the snow golems to attack the shulkers. So let's go get like, I guess we got to get snow and pumpkin. So five. We'll get a couple extra. Boop, boop. I really should make a pumpkin farm at some point, but that will also be in the industrial district. Boop, boop. Okay, that should be enough of that. Now, do we have snow? This stuff, that was moved. Bread, of course, bread. Um, No. I see random shulker shells. I should take those. Is this snow? This is snow. Great. We will take a stack of it um good i think that's good i don't think i need anything else yeah okay Hooey. we're getting into relax mode sit back relax let's head over to the industrial district and start on the other part of this, which is the stone stuff. <sighs> Having some tea. Um, we need a lot of smooth stone. I don't think I've got, oh, um, actually let's, pillage uh, around first before we go assuming <laughs> that we don't have smooth stone because I think there's a world where I might have smelted a bunch. I should probably honestly have all the stone variants over here. This wasn't intended to be a like store everything system but it's kind of turning into that. Um, which means this thing might expand considerably eventually. Uh, okay, cool. So let me see here. What else? White concrete. Let's go put this over here. Nope, that's not the white concrete. That's the white concrete. It's in a grotto inventory. Okay. Uh, soul soil is over there. So let's just see. Wow. Uh, is that what's lagging it out? I don't want it to get super laggy. So hopefully, yes, it doesn't feel laggy anymore. I guess it was just that that was lagging it out. Um, let's just check the chests. This might have some. This was mainly for the road though. However, um, in this specific situation, uh, it might be more beneficial to grab those. I need 19 smooth stone slabs. Oh, uh, whew. You know, we got some work to do. Hello, buddy. We can make a decent amount from this, but we are going to need to be smelting up quite a bit. Let's come over here and let's see. Do I not have, I don't have anything over here to work with this. Um, 19, we are at nine, nine, 18. Man, so we need like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's nothing in here, right? Oh, there's a couple. Okay, let's go grab like six stacks of stone. Also, just for future reference, we are going to claim, ah, I placed it in the wrong spot. We're going to claim this spot right here as that stone. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm also going to take this over with me. I'm not launching. Why am I not taking off? There we go. Kill. 
and one, two, three, four, five and a half and a half and a half. Okay, let those go for a minute and cut these that we currently have again in half. Uh, stone brick stairs, 57. Let's go grab some more stone. That's a stack. So I guess a stack of these should do it. Uh, smooth stone. So we also are just going to need like a stack and a half of just smooth stone. Oof. Okay, so that's annoying. Lots of materials needed. Lots of materials needed. Here, let's do... If I do this... Does that help? That does help. It doesn't remove what I'm looking at. So what do we need? 57 stone stairs. Cool. That gets rid of those. This is starting to come through. And then, you know what? I kind of want to wait before cooking these for all these to go through and see what we got. Yes. So while that's cooking, let's go get some of the other materials. Um, I don't think I checked this chest over here. That was the only other chest as well as whatever's in this. This is Tokyo stuff. <laughs> that's a random group of nothing. Uh, this one right here. There's really nothing in here of use, huh? There's some rails, but not the kind of rails that I currently need. And what's in here? What is this? Spoons. Sponges. Sponges. Those are the sponges for Nikki. Okay. Nothing exciting there. Um, I should at this point just assume that I have like nothing good. Stripped, I, well, there's a lot of strip stuff. It's fine. Let's uh, head over here, drop off this concrete that we just picked up. Really, nothing of value. Okay, target block, good. Uh, how many activator rails? Two activator rails. Good. Um, pistons. Here, sleep. Oh, you know what I do want to do? Hold on. I forgot to do something. Nikki, hello, hello, hello. How is it going? I am increasing our shulker shell capacity. Hopefully. That's the goal. That is the hope and the dream. Um, What else do we need? We need redstone torches. I, where's my redstone box? Actually, before we do that, let's make sure we have all of this stuff from here. R redstone torches. You're coming online in a bit. Nice. Very cool. I am uh, I'm hopeful that we can... I don't know if I'll be able to finish this today. It's not a complicated farm. Uh, there's just some weird stuff about it and how, like, the snow golems and shulker has to get in there. I'm also debating whether or not I want to duplicate the shulker before he goes in there. I should just take all of these. Let's just have a stack of it. Um, and I need... Oak trap doors. Slowly trying to parse down the amount of junk in these chests here. Um, pistons. Regular pistons. I have a bunch of sticky pistons. I don't think there's any regular pistons in here. Uh, how about 
Oh, I had I did have a glowstone thing. Oh, there's only 15 in there. Okay. Well, glad I got the full chest of glowstone. Um, let's pull out our redstone thing here. Seriously? I need to make at some point just spend the time and make an entire chest just full of regular pistons. Uh okay. We'll take a stack of this. We'll take a bunch of these. And then some redstone from over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's start making some pistons. What am I missing? Oh, cobblestone. Derp. One, two, three. Um... Cobblestone, that's what we were missing. That gave me nine, what? Why, the wood, the wood. One, two, three, four, if I just do this, it'll be easier. There we go, that's better, 27, beautiful. Put this away, put this away. Trying to stay organized, ah, I hate creepers, one just blown up my new path, oh no! Light that up. You gotta light it up. Honestly, even if it's lit up sometimes though, they come from all over the freaking place. Creepers definitely are not nice. Uh, oak fence gates. Oak fence gates, I actually have some. Uh, hoppers, too. Got plenty of hoppers. Um, stone bun and chests, okay. Here's a chest. I feel like I had a chest of chests. There it is. Uh, stone bun. Right? It's just one. Yeah, okay. Uh, black stained glass. I love that a lot of these designs use black stained glass because that kind of carries over. Where is it? Black stained glass. We still have plenty from the last time. Oh, I need two stone buns. Oh, no. What a cost. <laughs> Uh, two stones buns. Let's put the cobblestone away. Six observers. Just take 12. Six levers. That seems like an excessive amount of levers, but that's fine. Take a half of those. How am I still down one stone bun? Was it three? I really thought it was... I really thought it was one, and then somehow now we're at three stone buns. Uh, powered rails. Do I have a thing for that? I feel, there we go. Let's just take a stack of powered rails, which means we also need two mine carts. Okay, amazing. Now I think it's just the stone. Which one of these had the, here at this. Okay, so we're just waiting for the stone to smelt and we should have everything we need. Put this away. Oh, and also these shulker shells can go over here. Okay, let's go see how we're doing with the smelted stone and how much how much left there is. Do, 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 do. We have the stone bricks in here. Oh wow, a lot of that actually is already smelted. Uh, this is gonna end up all over the floor? No. One, two. So, nine, 18, we need 19. I probably have made more than I needed. 22. Stone cutter. Love the stone cutter. Stone cutter is amazing. Uh, 9, 18. Maybe one more is all we need. If I break this. Yep, okay. So plus 78. 64. We toss those two in there. I just found out you cannot put bone meal on dirt. You cannot put bone meal. No, it's got to be grass. Has to be grass. Bone meal on dirt does nothing. Were you trying to spread grass to dirt with bone meal? That is so not how that works. <laughs> good, good, good try. <laughs> but no. no, 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 no. That's why you need silk touch. If you're trying to spread uh, grass around. Oh, seriously, I'm too shy. I am literally too smooth stone shy. 
Okay, well, that's why I brought some. I'm gonna just do that amount so we have some extras there. Um, let's go put the rest of that stone away. And I think, no, I meant like putting flowers on the creeper hole I just filled. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you gotta wait for the grass to spread over to it and then you can bone meal it. Or you could just get some silk touch grass from somewhere else and bring it over too, I guess. And then bone meal that. Um, let's see here. I want to replenish the rockets, but now I'm realizing I already have a whole bunch in here. Okay, good. I need to replenish the food. Let's make sure before we start doing this, we have full source of food, full rocketry. I think we're good. Put that away and now grab the last two bits of smooth stone. And of course it's raining. Then we could start on this monstrosity. Okay, let's head over to where this thing's getting built. You know, I kind of... Nah, it's fine. So... Oh, I missed. Ow. I was hoping I could land right on that dirt pillar there. Always the rain. Always the rain. So, where does this thing actually start? It starts there. I want to make sure I'm on the right level. If I come out here... Oh god, Swift Sneak 3. I've been playing in my Skyblock world a bit and I don't have Swift Sneak. Oh man. What a, what a crazy world of difference Swift Sneak makes. Okay, so let's start building this thing up. This is the base. Uh, and then when we get to the spot with the snow golems, we'll have to get that going. Do 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 Is my music too quiet? I'm just noticing it. Looks a little quiet. Or is it just in between songs? Or maybe it's a quiet song. I turned it up either case. Uh, there's nothing under this, right? No, no, no. So this is the start of it. Pretty sure this hole right here is where the, uh... Snow golems will be placed. Do, 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 do. Now the the one thing I'm like concerned about slightly with this is I really don't want these guys being able to like shoot shulker sh shulker bullets. Their shulker bullets out everywhere. Um, so I'm trying to come up with an interesting design that can go on the outside of here. Chaos, welcome. Lurk away, my friend. That can uh, prevent them from being able to shoot their bullets outside of it. I'm thinking like something with like a jar, like a glass pane jar or something weird. I'm not 100% sure though. And some stone slab. I might have to check the tutorial video because I honestly, I'm like 90% sure I know where the snow golems go but it's also been like when did i build this farm last actually i built it on block breaking maybe in september i can't remember i'm gonna take the bed from this farm that we were working on and bring it over there because i don't need it here i do not need it here i need it by where we're working uh let's slap this down right yeah great okay so do the snow golems go like on top of that i don't know i'm not sure also what way does this open did i get that right i did okay let me look at the tutorial video real quick and just see where to go Oh, interesting. So he put them in first and then put this stuff in. They definitely go here. Oh God, I've trapped myself in a hole. Okay, so. Ow, my face. Try that again. Cool. So they go there. 
and then the scaffolding goes below. Uh, the lever goes on the outside of this. So let's put our lever there, like that. Ooh, these, are these supposed to like face in? I think these are supposed to face in like that. And then, yes, so, let's just take another look. Yeah, he did five. He did five. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do five as well. Um, oh, these are not uh, faces. <laughs> <laughs> Carve pumpkins. I couldn't think of the word, so I was like, well, faces. They have faces. That's... Yes, they're not faces. We need to face them. Uh, we need to give the pumpkins faces. Which means we need shears. Boop. Boop, boop. Shears for pumpkins. Okay, here we go. Three, four... We'll just do them all. And that, my friends, is how you quickly shear a bunch of pumpkins. Easy. I'm not going to use all nine. I will use six. He used five. I will use six. You could even use, like, more than that. But uh, actually, thinking about it, I'll use five. Because the, the I think the uh, the farm that I'm thinking about that uses more is the... Copper farm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. We'll put those away. And then we want to put that there, right? So he only, so the, the, this is slightly wrong because I think in his, he had another, um, trap door down there. So the trap door is to like basically turn on and off the machine. Cause if they're there and the trap door is engaged, then they don't start shooting at the shulker. Okay. Keel. I think now I could just. Build it up a bit more. Pretty much. Hopefully there's nothing else I'm missing. I'll double check before we activate the whole thing. Or before we start building like the whole roof structure. Why why don't those want to be in the right direction? I feel like those are cracked. Also, what is what is wrong with this? How are you in the wrong direction? Whatever. So this is where we start to get some more mechanics. Is this, so this goes up and then this goes over. Okay, so there's just some weird state stuff at the bottom, that's not a big deal. Beep, beep. Target block is going to be where? Right there. I'm gonna just need a bunch of Scaffolding just to get up here and start working. I have to be very careful about cleanup in the area surrounding this because we do not want uh, shulkers to be able to teleport outside this farm. Okay, so this is, I guess, the ring where things start to actually get built upon. Yes. Doot. So hopefully that's all correct and I'm not missing anything. Oh my god, Swift Sneak. Thank you, Swift Sneak. You are amazing. And I should be able to just get around nice and easily like that. Okay, perfect. Why, why are you, I don't like it. I don't like that that's in like the wrong state. There's no need for that. If I place it against this wall, it's in the wrong state. If I place it against this wall, it's right. Okay, fine. Whatever makes you happy. We're gonna ignore the other ones. So far, so good. Now we get to this point. And this is, uh, oh. I did not create that guy yet. We're gonna have to do that soon. Cause I, I totally forgot about that. 
We do need an armor stand. We'll uh, we'll make that in a minute. Let's get our first layer of scaffolding down. Also, I guess at this point, this layer of scaffolding is a pain. Um, let's do this. Do I have enough inventory space to pick these up? I do not. I'm gonna turn this into a stack and then I should have those two spots right there. So that goes away, that goes away. I wanna take this outside the farm. Okay, so that should be out here. Like so. And then we're going to do one, nope, one, nope. Seriously? Fine. And then we'll place this on the side there so we could access these. Place this on the side there. There, okay, it's fine. Ah, of course. <laughs> so now we need to continue with this scaffolding placement. This is where the majority of the stuff goes in this build. All this scaffolding to like fill this out. Oop, that's too far. <laughs> I'm gonna waste so much scaffolding just not quite connecting these correctly. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Eventually I would love to come up with my own design for this kind of a farm, but I feel like there are some farms where it doesn't make sense to come up with my own idea. Cause I'm just, the mechanic is the way the mechanic is. I don't know how you make it any more simpler than what currently exists. Oops, a daisy. So you can build this out further than necessary. Okay. Now there's stuff going on here. We'll come back to that. There's mechanics we need to be cautious of in certain places. One, two, three, one, two, three. Chewy's dish, hello, hello, hello. How's it going? We are making a shulker shell farm because the one that I currently have is annoying. It's a uh, two dimension, so it's like nether and overworld and I would love a single dimension farm. I also feel like in the past, I f by comparison felt that this farm actually produces shulkers a lot faster. Boop, 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 one, two. So there's stuff that goes in the middle there. We'll deal with that in a second. Boop. Okay, so this is the platform. And the scaffolding is the thing that makes the shulkers like teleport around and then they kind of just put themselves in like a kill chamber eventually. Oh, I forgot this. And then this goes here. Okay, so now that armor stand, buddy. We gotta go make our armor stand, buddy. So that's gonna be pretty easy. Oh no, I placed this in such a way that I can't open it. What a dumb boy. Uh, okay, that's fine. Seriously, what's in this one even? That's our scaffolding. We clank. Put that off the side of here. Uh, so we just need, is it like, I'll bring a stack, because I don't actually remember the recipe. I'm hoping I only need one to make an armor stand. Uh, sticks should be here. Armor stand, perfect. Okay, put the rest of the sticks away. So it did only require one, that's nice. That is too far away. Am I Superman? Because I can fly? <laughs> I'm not Superman. Definitely no Superman. Oh no, last cup of tea. Tea is done, switching to aqua. Could you imagine if you could fly like this in Satisfactory? Oh my god. What a game changer that would be. I mean, I guess you could with mods and whatnot, but... I've seen some uh, crazy fly mods. <laughs> yeah, I have seen one. It's, uh... Oh no! Ooh, boy, that's a problem. Okay, hold on, we can fix this. 
It's a little, it's a little intense. I wish it was like a vanilla way to deal with it. Okay, so this goes there. I'm like, where does this place? Hold on, there's something very specific for this. Or if you want vanilla, you can just line the entire floor with power, with power storage? You can line the entire floor with power storage and use hover. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could do that, it's a little slow. So yeah, I think uh, this is the trick. I'm gonna have to look at the tutorial for this one. So I'm pretty sure there's something very specific about how this armor stand has to be lined up. Okay, so... Okay, so this is where this gets weird. So I gotta... How does this exactly work? I place a bottom slab above the redstone torch. Okay, and then I need to stand like this, I believe. And then I need to place a stair. We did the calculation, it would take 1,100 and 11,725 power storage plus or minus a few thousand easy to cover the entire island or the entire map that would be insane okay 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 hold on place the armor stand in the center scaffolding okay then a solid block above the stair this is where I always get confused solid block above the stair and a temporary block above the fence gate. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be confusing, hold on. We should use something, we'll use the snow block as our temporary block. Okay, so I have to, to line this up, I'm basically doing this the entire map. <laughs> that would be, that would be too much. Okay, so if I do this, okay, it should align it. Break solid block. Yeah, okay, so that's lined up perfectly now. Break this, and now right, it's lined up perfectly with the side there. And yep, armor stand does look exactly like where it needs to be. The hitbox is perfectly aligned right there. Cool. Okay, now I think it's really just a matter of building up the rest of the farm. Um, so it gets a little bit easier at this point, I think. Maybe easy is not the right term. So there, and then there. And now we just are on a new level and we can basically create this platform. We do have to do like the system in there that like detects the shulkers and the bullets and all that jazz, but we'll do that in a minute. This is gonna be, oh no. I gotta be careful about where I'm placing these blocks because I can't jump up here now, right? No. Can I do this? Is this a blueprint? This is a blueprint. Some farms I can come up with and do myself, like the stuff over there, that's all figured out by myself. That weird farm over there I figured out by myself. That one, that one. Some of them, sometimes I do blueprints, sometimes I come up with it myself. It really depends on ad bomb. Oh God, oh no. Let's fill all this in. And then fill all this in. I'm out. It's okay, where did I put all of it? It's right here. We have the glowstone up here too, so I should be able to grab the glowstone pretty easily. Oh no, 
Let's see, I do this. Can I pick those back? I can. So some sometimes I like to do the farms myself. Sometimes uh, it's just easier to go off of a blueprint that somebody else has made. Sometimes I break my own blueprints. Um, in the case of shulker shell farms, there hasn't been much in the way of redevelopment of them in a while. Gosh, I might need to be careful. So these these farms, um, there's only so many ways that you can build them, honestly. And, and it's kind of like, I'm not going to try and uh, reinvent the wheel here. Uh, somebody just texted me. Uh, ninth through ninth through eleventh. Be right back. Gonna make some hot cocoa. Ha! Nice. I'm gonna be hanging around. Okay, um, so where were we here? I got rid of that extra block I placed. Let's fill all this in. I mean, I could fill it in from down here. As long as I don't fall in the middle hole, that would be bad. Do, 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 do. I want to, like, make some hot cocoa for myself now. Maybe I just need to make myself some more tea. I'm trying not to have too much sugar right now. I've been hurting my teeth. My teeth have been annoyed at me for all the sugar. Coming off of like the holidays during Christmas and stuff, I might have had way too much sweets. So I'm trying to be a little bit better about that right now. See, so yeah, I could place these from inside of here. This is fine. This is fine. What is this here? Okay. This is good. And then I'll do this side. Hopefully this doesn't make it difficult to place these other blocks. Maybe I should do that before I get too far into it. Let's see what we have in the middle here. Okay, so this is a full block with a lever on it, easy. This is a piston, which is looking down. So we gotta get down here and place this without, <gasps> Okay, that made me nervous. I don't know if that was supposed to be immediately activated. Uh, I guess it didn't hurt anything. It looks like in this state it's supposed to be, so we're just gonna go with it. Uh, and then let's place these. So these guys face away from me, so it goes that way, and this way, and this way. Observers do not like to observe me. Okay, so we have an observer clock. Aha. I see, so that's how that works. And this never stops, right? There's nothing on it that ever stops it. That is a forever moving observer clock. I guess we're going with that. It's not a ton of lag, it's just some observers looking around. So it could be worse. Oh no. I'm inside again. That's fine. Now that we've got that made, I don't think I'm too concerned. I will have to get out of here to sleep, though, as nighttime is coming. This should make so many shulker shells. I'm excited for it. 
which will be good because eventually I want to start having some shulker loaders for some of these other farms to handle all the materials that we actually get from them. Okay. I want to try and get all these down before flying out of here and sleeping, and then I'll go get the glowstone stuff and fill it in. I shouldn't have to worry about mobs spawning. Oh, I should have done this, is what we'll do. Since we're on the island here. Okay. So those are good. Jump out, sleep, grab, glowstone. Hello. I've been slowly trying to rebreed the population of the mushroom cows. Up we go. Ow. <laughs> okay. I should be more careful. Uh, glowstone. Where are we at here? Let's clean up our inventory a little bit too. Uh, there's glowstone. Amazing. Amazing. Glowstone. Oh, I got to be careful where I place this, I guess. So I'm wondering if I should... Okay, I'm gonna leave that lever like that for the time being. Because I really don't want to hear that piston firing a bunch while we're going. Okay, next layer. So this is where we get into the massive amounts of scaffolding. Um, cool. I think these are all done from on top of this, right? Yeah. Can I extend out both directions from here? I think I can make it. So we'll make like a grid, I think, between the glowstone. Like that. And then we can expand out in all directions. There does need to be that one hole in the center. Do, do, do. Amazing. I feel like I'm going quick here. Oh no! Who is calling me? Hold on one sec. Okie dokie. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna fill this in. Nikki burnt her mouth with the uh, hot chocolate. That's another reason, like the tea, I usually let my tea get a bit cold. I don't like like super hot drinks. And I'm actually a little roasty right now back here. I might have to take the hoodie off. Do I take the hoodie off? I think it's hoodie off time. Hold on. My hands usually get cold, but my body does not. What is this email? Twitch. Okay. Cool. Oh, I do love the fact that this industrial island just keeps kind of growing with stuff. I want, like, this to eventually be like a giant city. I feel bad. I haven't really done anything creative-wise on this server. I've kind of kept that all on the YouTube series, on the block breaking thing. I'm wearing a shirt and a hoodie and you're still cold. I like, I get that. Trust me, I get that. I go through uh, phases. For like an hour, I'll be freezing cold. And then for another hour, I'll be super hot. It's really annoying. I don't like this time of year. I rather like the summer where I just leave the temperature, like the AC, uh, we have central air, so I'm kind of lucky in that respect, but I can then just control the temperature. I just say, hey, it's this, this, this is it. Give me, give me 72 degrees, but I feel like when it's cold, how do I explain this? Heating a house seems to fluctuate a lot more than trying to keep a house cool. That could all be in my head, uh, but I feel like that's the case and it's really annoying. 
I really have to place these in like a super specific direction in order for them not to break at the end of the chain. Oh God, or me to fall to my death like that. <laughs> I'm excited to do this. I do think I'm gonna grab some, uh, actually, I don't know if I have any. I might have to, how do you brew splash healing potions? I think I'm gonna brew a couple splash healing potions once I remember how to. Uh, and then I'm gonna try and, I think, make a second one of this guy here before bringing him into the farm. I kind of want to leave a backup over there just in case things go sideways. I do like the mechanic that they duplicate the way they do. And, oops, what did I hit? I hit a button and everything disappeared. Does this button not do anything? Oh, there we go, okay. Uh, next layer. So we need, so this layer is not a scaffolding layer, so we'll put the scaffolding away. We'll grab our smooth stone and our glowstone. And we'll put this here, do this here, break just that, and then we can place all this. I gotta do something with that lava. There's there's much terraforming that needs to be done over here. Uh, the roads, I need to continue the roads. I have like a little bit of the road over there, but I need that to keep going around. My wife did all of the um, changing, well, not all of it, but a good portion of the changing over to grass was done by my wife. She demyceliumed the island, which was lovely of her. Okay. This is so much easier to build than the uh, bone mill farm. These layers are so simple. It's I think that's one of the, like the reasons I like this farm the best uh, out of all of the different shulker shell farms. I went through so many designs, watched plenty. Demycelium, I like that world. That word. I mean, what? How, well, what else would you say? How else would you classify this? Isn't, isn't that what you would, we did? We demyceliumed it. We got rid of all the mycelium. I could say it with more words, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. We demyceliumed it. Oh no, I should have had more of those, I guess. It sounds funny. I do like it. Oh God. <laughs> Good thing it's not that far down to get this stuff. I need to make like a directory of all the farms we have going on over here. <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh, see my hands are now freezing. I take off my hoodie because my face and my body were getting hot, but now my hands are cold. Okay, we're putting on the gloves. <laughs> we're putting on the gloves. I think it's just weird, bad circulation. I mean, it does have bad circulation and the winter exas exa exacerbates it. Words are difficult. Words are hard. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I've been showing all of my friends that drawing that Hugh did of my profile picture. Everybody has been loving it. How did I never think of playing games with gloves to keep my hands warm? Oh yeah, look at this. Look at these guys. Love these. And they have like the fingerless things on them. So it's like not too bad. I got too small of a size for my hands and they're like peeling in a few places, but for the most part, they are so good. I love, I love gloves and they're good for if I'm playing on console or PC. They're really nice. You can get like different types of them too. There are some that are a bit thicker. There are some that are like, there's like therapeutic gloves that keep your hands uh, from like cramping up while you're playing for really long periods of times by like, I don't know, like compression gloves kind of. There's actually a whole line of gloves out there for people who do gaming stuff. These these are slight compression, but I think I got them too small. So they split in a couple places. But yeah, gloves are so good for the winter when you're gaming. We gaming. It's a B-dubs reference. Okay, uh, this is going well. I have no recollection of how many layers I need to do of this, but the fact that 
I honestly don't need to like think too much with this. It's so simple, this uh, pattern. It's gonna make this fly. By the way, I am very excited to update the server to 1.20. Uh, I'm I'm hoping it happens at a time when like I have some downtime. I might have to wait a little bit for some of the mods that I use to get updated for 1.20, but I'm sure they're already like working on making sure those are ready to go. But I'm super excited to like reset some of the chunks and see if we could get a cherry blossom biome in oh, okay inside the uh the the world border that we have i've did it again i've done it again what's happening why do i keep placing that i'm i'm so excited for 1.20 are you are you going to be uh getting those cherry blossoms i don't have a farm yet for that type of wood and i ha i have an area up there that I probably could make a farm for it. Um, I vaguely feel like I could do it with, uh, yes, I need pink wood. <laughs> I vaguely think I could do it with a similar design as what I did the mangrove tree farm with. Um, it might even be able to be done in uh, in ENXO4's farm, uh, the like all tree farm, even though it's not all trees, but the majority of trees. Oh, see, that's the wrong spot. Don't want to place that there. I was thinking of making a little a little pink city. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I'm really wondering if they'll do some work on the texture of the leaves. Because people were... That was like... The only thing people were a little bummed out about is they felt the leaves could be a little bit better. I haven't checked out any of the new snapshots recently, so I'm not sure if they have done any work with the leaves. I don't know why I still have that on. I should just turn that off. We don't need to see this sphere. This sphere doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but it doesn't at the same time. I just can't build anything within that sphere in the industrial district or else we might get a raid spawning on it. Boop, 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 doo, doo, doo. I'm looking forward to like getting to play with like chiseled bookshelves on the server. Even though I haven't like really kept my bookstore in stock in forever, I kind of want to update it in 1.20 using the chiseled books as like a way to like organize the actual books I'm selling better. Um, camels might be an interesting difficulty to find on the server. I might have to specifically try and reset some desert villages because I don't think camels just... I think camels spawn on generation. So that that might get a little wonky. Uh, sniffers and areas where we might have to go get suspicious sand. Gonna have to deal with that. Also a lot of the things like where you would get the armor trims, those are gonna have to be reset as well. So a couple of the ocean monuments that haven't been built on i'm gonna reset like there's one somewhere over here that i raided forever ago but that never did anything with that one needs to get reset which is also good because we'll be able to get like more sponges and stuff too i have to do a severe mining session to try and get enough diamonds to like duplicate all the stuff also gotta get all the netherite stuff possible before um the update because i think it's gonna be really a pain in the butt with this new uh netherite update feature how they plan on doing that sponges you got a lot of sponges now huh do you still have those sponges i gave you now that you now that you have some sponges i would i wouldn't mind those sponges back i still need to do a, a sponge out at some point of an area uh do you want them back i wouldn't mind them back how many do you have currently Depends on how many you have. If you if you don't have too many, let me get them. Okay, that would be amazing. Just because at some point I know, like two stacks. Oh my God. Yeah, I think I only gave you like 24. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind those 24 back. There's, there's an area, where is it? I think it's over here on the other side of Tokyo's Island. 
that I started marking out with... Oop, I'm hitting the microphone. With Tokyo a long time ago. And I think I might work on this. Yes. So this here, I need to drain. So I'm going to need all the sponges for this at some point. I'm on the fence on if I'm going to tear down. Do I actually have another shulker sitting over here? I do. Maybe I'll just stick this guy in the machine. Um, so yeah, I got to drain that whole circle at some point. I think we outlined that on stream like a month or two ago. We... This island looks pretty crazy. What's nice is I can expand it. There is room around it based on the actual biome that is expandable. Let's breed up some more uh, mushroom cows real quick. Slight detour. We should be getting wheat since we're over here hanging out. We are. I just want two. Hey cows, you want some wheat? We'll make more little mushroom cow babies. Come on, where are you? Look at them. Hey, one for, actually you two are closer. One for you and one for you and little big head cow baby. There it is. Who's got such a big face? You got a big face. I saw the hitboxes on. You got a little big face. Okay, <laughs> enough fawning over cows. I can't wait to have like sniffers roaming this island. It's gonna be dope. Gonna be sick. Okay, so now we're getting to this layer, which is actually the shulker holding cell. So the build's going to start to get a little bit more complicated again, but that's okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. And then we break that. We can start. Oh, God. <laughs> There's not much room here for you to land on. Boink. Hello. Spongies. Hey, sponges. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, I don't need all these. Hold on. No, that's you. I only had like half a stack. You you keep those. You keep those. Amazing. I'm going to go put these in my inner chest before I forget. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I had... I didn't have like that many. Oh, they're dry too. Oh my God. She brought them back dry. Oh, so appreciated. <laughs> Last time I let somebody borrow these, they came back all soaking wet and it was nasty. They were gross. I had to I had to put them through the furnaces. Actually, I probably just did it in the nether, but you actually washed and then dried the sponges first. Much appreciated. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I always dry sponges. Like, why wouldn't you dry them? You know, some people are a little bit lazy. Important information from at and Is this a scam? Notice regarding... Hold on. What is this email? Is this important? I can't even tell. Uh, what? What? what, what, what. Okay, so somebody hacked at and whatever. At this point, I'm like so over those kind of things. It's like anybody can find out anything about at least me in any way they want. So I don't like, whatever. Whatever. That happens. It's annoying. It's not the end of the world. Um, I need full blocks apparently for this part of it. We and boop. So this is, I think, where the shulkers will like multiply to. Triple A, I split, spilled. I don't know, hot cocoa. Oh no, <laughs> you spilled the hot cocoa. Oh, hopefully not too much, and hopefully not on your keyboard. Oh my god, drink spilling on the keyboard is the worst. I have like a separate tray table next to my desk, so I never have 
liquids too close to my desk just for safety if you got it on your keyboard i am so sorry <laughs> that is the worst why what what i threw it on the ground you why are you throwing hot cocoa on the ground what why are you doing that It wasn't a lot, luckily. Well, that's good. I'm now realizing how I could have potentially placed that trapdoor wrong and how it could be an issue. Let's see if I could get in here and adjust that. So, where is it? Okay, not throwing it. I just bumped it. Oh, okay, okay. That's better. Okay, where is this trapdoor and can we fix the issue with it? Ooh, okay, we gotta go into cheaty cam mode here. Mm. This trap door is, is it this one? It's that one. So I guess in theory, I could, if I don't bump the armor stand, I could break this. Like that. And then I could crouch under here Break that and then place it on the bottom. Aha. And then we can do that. Come over. Nope. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We can do this. I don't think I altered things. I think we're good. Armor stands secure. Oh, I forgot to fence gate here somehow well good thing we came down and looked at that anyway so i think that's all good i'm not 100 percent sure why these are weird Is something supposed to be under them supporting them no everything seems fine okay whatever good enough uh can we just fall to the ground here no right here okay I think these mushrooms are going to have to go away. I think they're too close. And I think we could end up with shulkers trying to teleport to them. Yeah, okay, good. Well, now that trap door is fixed and I feel better about life. We'll fill all this in. Uh, but honestly, that does make me rethink about whether or not to duplicate our friend over here before sending him into this thing. Because if it fails, I don't want to have to build, like, the entire um, line again to get a new one over here. So once we're done building this, I think we will... Is it far enough away? Yeah, so this is, there's 15, 16, 17. So this is far enough away. If I build out that way, I could get him to duplicate on that thing. But we do need to get splash potions of healing before I do that. Just in case anything goes horribly wrong. Um, what else do we need? Let's get some more scaffolding. I feel like it's mostly smooth stone, okay. We, I think I'm just doing the slabs now and then the glowstone. And hopefully we should have, by the end of this stream, I really want to have this done. I think it's possible. It's not a difficult farm. It shouldn't take me too long to go through and build this thing. Compared to some of the other crazy farms we've spat out. I'm good with this one being a quick one. The first time I made a shulker farm, oh my God, I don't even want to like know how long that took. I was so new to it and I had so many issues being a two-dimensional farm, like being half in the nether and then the other half in the overworld. Ugh, so bad. 
But that was like kind of the first designs people started to mess with as far as how shulker farms should be developed. I know a lot of people still do them that way, but I, I gotta say this way is my favorite way. Keeping everything in one dimension. I think this is similar to the farm that Impulse ended up doing on Hermitcraft. There's been a couple variations and modifications to how this uh, scaffolding farm has developed over the past like year and a half or so. When the heck did uh, Shulker Duplication first come out? I guess that came out with 1.17 technically. But I didn't want to get into like actually doing it till 1.18. So it's it's been a it's been a little bit. Ah stop placing blocks wrong. Stop it. Do 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 Okay. Do this and do that and do this. I think that does it for this layer. <laughs> and more scaffolding, amazing. So much scaffolding needed for this. The thing about scaffolding is they teleport to it, but then they like very quickly keep teleporting upwards. There's something with their how shulkers teleport that make them want to keep going to the highest spot. And they like to do that easily with scaffolding. Okay, so this mechanism out here is the collection and killing system. We'll get this back here done before we go into that. The glowstone acts as a layer of support between each of the scaffolding branches. I am slightly bummed that um, mobs spawning on scaffolding doesn't work anymore. It was an interesting mechanic and some of the some of the mob farms using scaffolding were interesting to me. Being able to basically make it so that the mob's AI was disabled because they couldn't pathfind on scaffolding was cool. Oh, I need another armor stand. Oh, snap a do. Okay, we'll uh, we'll deal with that in a minute. So this is the front of the farm. I guess that makes sense. In my head, I'm like, no, I kind of want to rotate the whole thing, but no. We should have the front of the farm facing inwards because I don't want to have to make a path along, like, the ocean road, if you will, to access the drop, so it's fine. Ah. Hopefully I haven't lost so much scaffolding that I don't have enough to finish this. Okay, yes, I know there's supposed to be another block there. Come on, <laughs> place in the correct direction. Okay, cool. So now, so the middle chamber here is where they should end up eventually after duplicating. Are these just falling down here and not breaking? I guess some are breaking as items. Some are breaking, some aren't. Uh, let's go make that. Um, Armor stand. I'm gonna definitely have to put like a chunk loader or two around the island in order to keep the whole thing loaded and functioning. One, two, three, four, five? Is that enough? I actually don't know. Oh, nope, we need more. Six? How many does it take? Six. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> I will be redoing that iron farm with the new design I've developed eventually. He'll probably come back over here with the villagers. Okay, so this guy, are you also like needing weird alignment? You do. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that thing again. So we do this guy there, and then we do a temporary block there, and then we do um, hold on, we need the blocks. Boink. We need full blocks 
Here we go. And then we want to do zoop. So we'll take the glowstone and we'll come out to here. And then we will take a piston and place it. Oh boy. Uh, can I pick that up? Nope. Facing that way. Then we will do this. Cool. And a break of this. And our friend here should be perfectly aligned. Oh no. No, definitely not aligned. Huh. Interesting. He's gotta be like sitting on that. Maybe we have to put this in afterwards. Uh, here, let me grab that. Grab. We'll put, um, we'll put a slab there to start, and then we'll put a temporary block there, then we'll put this guy there, put a block there. That pushes him over. He hasn't sunk down. Now he's partially on that. Nope, definitely did not work. Oh no, now I'm breaking scaffolding. Okay, hold on. We could come up with an idea for this. Maybe we need to put him on a block first. So we do this, we place a slab here, we do this, we do this, then we piston push him over, we break this block, we break this block, aha! And we've done it. By George, I think he's done it. Amazing. And then this all goes away. Cool, that wasn't too bad. Is there anything down here of importance? I kind of want the lever. I don't know why levers are cheap, but still. Uh, I don't really want these guides on. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Amazing. So. Continuing on with our plan here, where is our schematic? There it is. Uh, okay, so don't move our iron, our armor stand. He is in perfect position. Uh, we, what it goes here? This and then that and then one on the other side. What are these other bonds for? We need three bonds total. Did I miss a bond somewhere? Ooh, I might have missed a button somewhere. Ooh, I don't know where. Okay, let's uh let's sleep first. Sleep, 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 sleep. Should have made the whole island slime instead of grass. Then I could have just fallen from any height and it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> yeah, but walking around that would have been a nightmare. Are we on 119.3? No, I won't be updating until 119.20. All of these like intermediate updates. Um, all these intermediate updates, I'm not gonna be doing. Okay, do we have a slime farm? Uh, kind of, not a really solid one, only a slight one. I don't really use it that much because it's not great. Um, I shall replace the island's grass with slime. So no, 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 no. But I, I mean, we're not doing that because the problem, the problem with it, <laughs> it's funny. But the problem with doing that is that um, it'll be really slow to move around, and that would get so obnoxious after a while. Like having to walk. Well, okay, I'll, I'll throw this idea out there. Maybe eventually that might be cool when we have pathways to get between the farms. Um, but for the time being, I don't think so. With soul sand done? I mean, but that looks bad. Soul sand looks gross. You know, it would be cool. Well, uh... Hold on, would it work with this path? Let me just look real quick. 
So I don't know, you probably know about this. Um, so these are all slabs. What you could, in theory, do, some of these though, are, these are bottom slabs? Yeah, these are bottom slabs except for the top slabs. Most of them are bottom slabs. So you could put soul sand under these bottom slabs and they, it would still work. It would make all of these super fast. If you were if you put soul sand underneath each of these, that would actually be dope because then then you don't see the soul sand and you just zip around the paths like really quickly. That would actually be really cool. You'd have to collect a lot of soul sand though, and then uh, then it's as simple as just okay, break this and then replace the block underneath it with um. What was that block? <laughs> Did I pick it up? Then just place the replace the block underneath it with uh, soul sand. If I had enough soul sand, I would do that to all the paths, because then I could really fly. Like this would be so much faster. Soul sand paths like that would actually be kind of dope. I should consider that idea. Oh, you know what? Probably could just grab a bunch of soul sand from the piglin barter farm. What am I doing right now? Why can't I place these correctly? I bet you there's a bunch of soul sand over there. So there's 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 possibilities. You have this is a block. We're gonna have to place this block, and it's going to be tricky. Um, okay, let's think this through. So we need to. That's where the other button is. This is this. This goes like this, which means we could place this there, and then grab a piston like this. Place the piston like that. Put a lever on the side. Amazing. Okay, so we can break all this down. So and that's how we get the glass block inside that guy. And then we put glass block here. And we put this here. And we put a lever there, there. And these need to happen. Okay. Now what is this? Why I'm having, okay, like that. And then, do, 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 do. oh no, I placed that wrong. Cool. So shulkers will end up inside that thing. Um, I guess I do need to place these rails. So, but how do we cheat this activator rail up? These will naturally go up, but we need to get the activator rail going up first. So we do this, 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 and then we break this. Oh God. And then we place this, and then we put our button back on here. Amazing. Oh no, that's not the block I meant to place. Okay, lever down, turns that on. Kill, kick, kill, kill, okay. Cool. So that's going to be the collection system. They will pick up our shulkers and then bring them to their de their demise. And those are wrong, but they will be right as we slowly stare upwards. Now it'll go upwards like that. And if I place this here and place this there, that will also go upwards. Slab, slab. That'll bring that up. This is an upside down stair there. And this goes here. Well, ah, no, wrong spot. Ta-da. Okay, let's actually place the rest of the blocks now. Do, 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 bottom slabs so they can't teleport to it. Is this all slabbed out? Are we in slab territory again now? I think we are. Uh, we should, let's bridge over this way and grab the rest of our slabs then. How's my inventory looking? Not particularly great. I don't need two stacks of that. I don't think I need the observers anymore. I'm gonna hold on to the redstone torch for a little longer. I don't think I need the fences anymore. I do still need the minecarts. I don't need a bucket for anything. Okay, let's see if we can do the rest of this without coming back down. Although that's probably inaccurate because I think I'm gonna still need scaffolding. Uh, okay, cool. Well, we'll see what happens. 
We will see what occurs. My pinky hurts from all of the crouching. I'm going to play some Valorant. See you later. See ya. Bye. Enjoy some Valorant. It's so interesting to me, the number of people that play Minecraft that also play Valorant. Like, I think Gemini Tay actually does both. I just can't get into first-person shooters. Probably because I just... The skill gap for me is so high. Also, they, like... I don't know. I'm just terrible at them. <laughs> I'm just not good at a first-person shooter. <laughs> never been. Never will be. It's fine. The, the reasons are very, very long. <laughs> it's a long list of reasons I don't play Valorant. Okay, this is looking good. Oh god! Play strong. We're doing well here. I think I have all of the slabs that I need to finish this off. Oh man, we are going to get this done today. It's only taking me an hour and a half and I'm almost done building this thing. That's not bad at all. The tricky part is going to be duplicating our guy and getting him in here without dying. Which, uh, gonna be tricky. Gonna be very tricky. Backups need to be made. Next layer. Aha, we're getting into these. The arms of the machine. Okay, so we do stair, bottom stair, stair, bottom stair. Boop, boop. Cool. Oh, wait, hold on. Really? That's it? Okay. Well, fine. Simple enough. Place. Top slab. Like that. Same thing over here. Scaffolding. More scaffolding. Oh, what? That was weird. I like placed in the one direction, then tried to go back in the other direction. And then these all get some extra scaffolding bits. Nope, not that way. Straight up. Oh, it's getting to be nighttime again. I want to see... Wait, what? That doesn't actually go there? What goes there? Oh, interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. At least it got the uh, the rail to like angle up like that. We're gonna need more scaffolding, I think. So when we go down to sleep, we will grab more scaffolding. See, that's yellow. Why is that yellow? It's <laughs> driving me crazy. You are not in the wrong state. I don't know how you could be in any other state. Hold on, do I need to like look this direction? Whatever, okay, it doesn't matter. It's there, like it needs to be. Next layer. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, I should have fell on the bed. If I fell on the bed, I wouldn't have taken any damage. Oh, well, it's fine. Okay. Let's do this. And then we'll build up over here. I think we are close to being done. This might be the last platform. I'm not 100% sure. 
Oh no, too far. One, two, one, two. Oh, whoa, way too far. Okay, next layer. That was weird. I thought I saw something moving down there. Okay, nope, there's this whole layer here, I guess. Boop, boop, boop. We'll make a border and then we'll fill it in. Okay, we're not gonna do that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Dope. Cool. Oh no! I broke too many scaffolding bits. Oh, buggers. I only wanted to break the one. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, oh, it's okay. We can, we can. I just, I just punched too strong, apparently. Okay, where did I just place that? <laughs> I want to place it there, and then I'm going to go up, and then I want to jump over, and uh, yeah, like that. Gosh, darn it. Why is it got to be difficult? <laughs> ah, no, I'm placing so many things wrongly. Oh, if that's the one slab that I still need, I'm so going back for it. I'm pretty sure I gave myself enough extra. Okay, whoa, what did I hit? That zooms in too? I don't understand. Not quite sure why that is a thing. Okay, so we're gonna hit this from the side. That shouldn't break any blocks underneath, yeah, okay. Here, this should be the last bit of it, honestly. I'm gonna run the verifier on it because I can't can't mess this up. It'd be bad if I mess this up. Don't have a million backups of uh, shulkers, so I want to verify it's good. I think that does it. Oh, slab. Now it's done. Uh, okay, so schematic, configure, render layers, all, and then schematic, configure, schematic verifier, start verification. Wrong states. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I think that means it's good. So let's remove it. Actually, let's turn it. It's locked. Configure, forget it. We'll leave it there until it's done. What we'll do is we will just turn our visuals off. Okay, so now we do need to clean up this disaster. Uh, that is my inventory. <laughs> put that away, uh, put this stuff away. Actually, we will take those because, well, let's clean this all up. We're gonna take, why is there like a weird delay there? We're gonna take these slabs to build a platform over there. Oh God. I'm thinking about this and I do have slight concerns that I don't have my storage facility, like the place where I'm gonna get the items from this in an appropriate spot. Uh, this needs to come down, this needs to come down, this needs to come down. What I think I'm going to do so I'm actually gonna remove the scaffolding for now. We're gonna have to also clear out the mushroom still. Come on. Do I have a shovel on me? I do. Somehow I'm missing my sword. Did I put that in? I don't know where my sword went. Did I start today with a sword? I have no weapon. I don't know how I did that. Ooh. I mean, I don't need a weapon. Oh, I probably put it away because I didn't really want to waste my inventory spaces. Okay, so land on top of this like that, amazing. We'll take this down. And now we need to take down these mushrooms. 
Oh, is this Silk Touch? This is not going to be Silk Touch, unfortunately. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. That guy's cleared out of the way. Ooh, this guy is a little bit harder to reach everything. Got to jump a little bit. And then... I don't know if this one's too close, but let's get rid of it just in case. I kind of feel bad about this, but... This needs to be pretty free floating. I don't think this layer is gonna be an issue. I'm at Y72. The bottom of this is at Y87. Could go either way. This is why we will make backups. I'm going to remove my bed, place it over in this vicinity. Okay, it's by the heart. Now we need to, for the time being, expand this platform a little bit. And then we're going to go get those splash potions of healing, heal this guy, and tr I should have some extra glass. And the goal is going to be to get, I don't think this is too close to anything, a second one before we send them in. This should give them enough of an area to teleport to. Can't teleport underneath it. It's all good. We're building back this way. Okay, so glass and splash potions of healing. Uh, Back to my base. Because I don't think I have anything over here that's going to help me with this splash potion of healing. I might have to look up how to do that, actually. It's too bad that there's not a menu in the brewing stand, similar to, like, the crafting table that can give you some hints on how to make this happen. Okay. So, I don't have any, right? Instant health two, fire resistance, poison, weakness, fire resistance. I have one instant health. Yeah, I have no idea how to make this. Um, well, let's do, let's do this. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. So, health. I'm gonna look it up. Instant health potion. One potion of healing, instant health. How to make a potion of healing, though? Really? Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Golden apple. And gold. Let's do this. Wait, I feel lied to. Does it need to be an awkward potion first? None of this was right. Why did it tell me to do this? Okay, it's just dumb. Uh, I need nether wart. We got nether wart. So, awkward potion. Glistening melon slice? Do I have melons? Wait, can I buy glistening melon slices? Isn't that a thing that these guys trade? Oh, thank God. Um, that's the wrong bucket. I will take one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot. 
That's a lot. I didn't realize you were giving them to me in sets of three. But I appreciate your kindness. Also, I don't want these mushrooms. I guess there's watermelons in there too. Okay. We gotta sleep. Ow. We gotta bash my face against the fence first. Sleep. Sleep. Okay, so, awkward potion? Yes. Or maybe the apple is for like level two. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Do I have gunpowder over here? I got plenty of gunpowder. So what we'll do is we'll heal the guy that's currently, oh, we need glass while this is going. Instant health. I still can't put that in there. So how do you make instant health too then? Oh, that's what the glowstone's for. But if I put the glowstone in, can I still make it uh splash potion? I guess I'll try it. Oh, uh, well, that's happening. Let's go get some glass. Okay. I think this was the first still touch shovel <laughs> pickaxe I had. Uh on the server. Okay, so this should be instant health too. And then we do this. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So we can also brew this one straight. So that'll give me four. Do I think that's enough? I don't know. We'll find out if that's enough. Instant health. I really wish these stacked. It's fine. Kind of feel like I should go into this with a shield. I don't have a shield. We're just going for it. It's happening. It's happening. Okay, so we free our friend. We heal him. And then we try and get him to hit himself and duplicate, then we, oh shoot, I just realized I forgot to put the mine carts down. Okay, let's put the mine carts in first. So the mine carts um, are what pick them up and then eventually kill them uh, due to entity cramming. So I do have to like turn on the whole machine as well. Um, but that's fine. So we do that. And we do that. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's good. That's good. I think everything else is good. Do we turn this on? Okay, we'll leave it off right now. There's like that lever and then that lever. Um, okay. This is where things could go poorly. So. Hi, buddy. I heal you. He has been healed. So can we... Ah, I'm hit. So the goal is to get him to hit himself. Which means we do have to, like, get him out of the minecart, I think. Or maybe the bullets will just... Oh, I don't have way, I don't have nearly enough rockets for this. Let's go get some more rockets first. Ow. Floor. Floor to face, face to floor. Nice to meet you, floor. I am face. Okay, uh, we'll put this here, there. There's no way he's hurt himself yet. I wonder if I come in from this side and get on top of him. I'm not going to get enough height. I could open this up a little bit more. He's gonna shoot me. He's gonna shoot me. It's fine. Oh god, okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They're coming. Oh, I got hit again. Son of a... Stupid things. Leave me alone! This is difficult. I knew it wasn't gonna be easy, but... I mean, the first time I did this, it was way more difficult. Oh, come on, dude. He hasn't hit himself yet. 
I think we need to remove that block to make this work a little bit better. I should have done this with a shield. There's going to be so many of these flying around. Could you imagine? With him right here, I could totally, like, try and get him to hit a Ravager and get a Ravager floating. That would be slightly hysterical. Okay, get out of the minecart. Can I break the minecart? Uh, there's so many. He still hasn't hit himself, I don't think. Oh boy. Mistakes have been made. Okay, can I hitbox time see this? We really gotta try and snake around and get him to hit himself. I just don't know if he's in the minecart, if he's gonna still be able to teleport. Oh, I didn't hit it. Come on. Come on. I wonder if he's still even on a rail. Oh, he hit himself. Okay, he hit himself. I'm gonna heal him. Because we don't want him to die, but he definitely healed himself. I'm slightly concerned about the minecart and him not being able to teleport outside of it. So we're gonna try and break it. Amazing. Okay, that's broken. We just gotta get him to heal, hit himself again now. Nothing yet. Come on, buddy. There's so many bullets over here. At least they're on me and not like going into any other areas. That could be really bad. Okay, okay, come on, come on. There's so many. I think he hit himself again. I think he just hit himself once. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and keep an eye on it because that's twice. One more, one more. Okay, now I should heal him. Okay, and coming in for the heal. This might be my last potion too. Do I not have enough spaces for him to teleport onto? Mm, no, I feel like I should. Come on. Feel like there should be enough. Hi, yes, hit yourself just once. Okay, he hit himself. That was once. I do believe he heals between each time he hits himself. I believe that is the case. I'm gonna go get some more slabs here. Just in case I need to expand this a little bit further. How far are those gonna come after me? Do I have some slabs in here? I do, we're just gonna use cobblestone. Oh, I see us needing to heal him more than I have healing stuff for him. God, these are like all over the place. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Teleport. Ow. Hit yourself in the face. Wow, this is bringing back early, early season vibes right here. Oh, that those just missed him. Come on. He definitely has nowhere to go, I don't think. I do want to give myself... Okay, he hit himself once. Oh, no! Oh, no. That's problematic for me. Oh, uh, that's very problematic for me. Okay. Ooh, not great. Not great. Oh, no. Okay. So now we really got to get that other one to duplicate. Oh, not good at all. Okay. Well, let's, uh, 
Make some slabs. We'll sleep when we can. Oh, I'm gonna need a bunch of dirt. I guess we gotta get... I guess we gotta get that other one to duplicate first. I think... I think there's still some of the, the nether too. Just in case it gets really bad. I think there's like three in the nether. I'm gonna check, cause I'm gonna... Oh, that's so not good. Okay. Let's let's go see. Gotta be so careful. Uh, where's another portal? Oh no! Uh, I wonder what's more difficult: grabbing like two from the nether side and bringing them through. Because they won't pass through with the rail, I don't think. I could, like, drop them down this hole and take them over. How far away are they? They're not that far away. They're right here, right? Yeah, there's two right there. I feel like I should run the farm and just get more. Okay, there's two in the bank. Let's uh let's turn this on. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's let's let that go for a bit. Got a couple in the bank over there. And while that's happening, let's see if we can get this guy to duplicate. Take all this down. So hopefully we can get him to duplicate. Chewy Dish, I'm watching a satisfactory speed run. Speed run to what? What 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 would you consider like in a speed run the the goal to be? Is it like complete everything? Like get all the stuff for the space elevator done? Golden coffee mug. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So is, does that mean it's just tickets then? They got the golden coffee mug? I'm gonna give this guy a pretty decent platform. Okay, my friend, we really desperately need you to heal and not die. So we're gonna be very careful about which blocks we break first. Can you shoot me through that? Ah, oh God. You need to finish space elevator phase four before you can buy said coffee mug. Oh, okay, so you got a lot to do then. Okay, let's see if we can get him to hit himself. I don't know if he needs to be healed, but he hasn't hit himself once yet, right? Once, twice, heal him. Once. Come on, twice. Okay, we should go. We should get out of here and go get more healing potions. Okay, we're going home. I do not understand what, I, what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, I got distracted thinking about it for a minute. So there's a mechanic in the game where those shulkers will duplicate if they hit themselves with their own bullets. Uh, I am currently trying to get him to duplicate because uh, I need some more of them uh, for this farm that I'm working on. Um, however, there is a chance that they will die in the process as well. So I have to keep healing him at he, as he goes. And the shulkers, that's what these chests are right here. These boxes of inventory. You get them by killing a bunch of them. So 
So you duplicate them, you kill them, and then you get these boxes of inventory. So that's currently what I'm attempting to do is uh, get another one for a farm to duplicate them for it. Okay, um, awkward effects. So I'm making a bunch of healing potions now, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, awkward. And then I guess I need the glowstone to make it to level two. I get just so many healing potions. I'm just gonna keep healing them constantly. Oh no, I just realized I left the current one going. Not a big deal. Uh, and then this, and then we do. Yeah, the biggest thing is that sometimes they will die before they duplicate. And in most situations, that's fine, but not in this situation. I need a bunch of backups. Healing potion two, and healing potion two. that away for now. Okay. I kind of want my hot bar to be mostly potions, I think. One, two, three. Oh boy. How modded is this? This server? This server isn't modded at all, actually. <laughs> this is purely vanilla. Uh, like there, there are no mods on this server. Like the, the blueprint thing is a client side mod, not a server side mod. Um, it's just to help me, especially when it comes to like making YouTube videos for Minecraft stuff to be able to build faster. Um, but otherwise, yeah, the server itself that, that I made has no mods on it. The mechanic for uh, duplicating shulkers like this is Vanilla it got added in uh, 117 era ish. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he was over here. If I go straight this way, we should see the farm. Maybe. I see him. He's over here. There's the portal. Okay, so let's heal him up. Yeah, there's the shulker bullets. Just to be safe, we're going to give you another splash potion of healing. Okay, shulker bullet. Oh god, I fell. <laughs> that was not the intended. Go, got him too close. Okay, we just need to circle around him until he hits himself. Here comes some. Oh, he hit himself once. He hit himself twice. We heal. We heal, we heal, we heal. And can we get him to heal again? Hit him, hit him, hit him. Once. I think two bullets is about all I'm willing to risk. Probably not even that many. Come on. Come on. Nothing. No. Ow. One hit. He's really not duplicating at all, which is concerning. Heal him again. Come on. I've gone through so many of these. I uh, can't believe he hasn't duplicated at all. It really is uh, not looking good. Okay, okay, come on, come on, okay, hit him again, okay, still nothing, heal, heal him, I've already gone through so many of these, that makes me concerned, I know he doesn't have a ton of spots, okay, that's way too many bullets, if all those hit him at once, he's dead. Okay, we bail. Any more and he's dead. 
Now how to make more potions. Oh god, this is gonna be painful. Bigger platform? I probably should. <laughs> I probably should increase the size of the platform. We can do that. They can only, um... They can only go up to 17 by 17 blocks. So it's not a huge distance. So it's not really that big of a deal to expand the platform a little bit. Uh, let's also get some more potions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, five, because I already have this one here. Boop, 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 boop. Amazing. Do this, do this, do nether wart, and nether wart. Why so stingy? Stingy? Uh, it's just, as far as like the 17 by 17, it just is their, um, that's just their, their teleporting radius. It's just the way the mechanic is <laughs> with them. Okay, so we need two of those. Two bits of glowstone. Do this first. Then we do this. Where's the glowstone? Where did I put the glowstone? There it is. Uh, so let's get some... Here we go. We got a ton of slabs. We'll use all these. I'm using slabs so that they don't teleport to the underside of it or to the sides of it. If it's a full block, they can they can basically teleport to any six sides of a full block. So I'm kind of limiting it so that way it's only just the surface and they stay on the same level. Come on. Instant health. Beautiful. Splash potion. Splash potion. Okay. Hopefully this works this time. I do have the, the current one going, so we are probably getting backups in the nether as well. Part of me is just wondering if I duplicate and just get them over to the farm and forget about like actually having a backup over there because i'll have the rail line yeah i think if i get if i get this guy to duplicate which i better get this guy to duplicate uh then i will just build a rail line back over to the farm and i'll leave one here and then we'll use a minecart furnace to push them over there and just get them into the new farm i hope it works the first try because it'll probably be easier anyway to get backups through this okay so what we want to do is grab this fly up here start placing these actually let's just heal them because i have no idea where we left off oh god see that's bad that's a that's a slab oh why is it so difficult i should have i should have done this first it's fine the longer we're here, the more chance he has to actually duplicate anyway. Ba, 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 ba. These are so annoying. I really should have just brought a shield. You know what? Let's make this a little easier on ourselves. Let's block him in while we're doing this. For my safety and his. I think if I put a block over his head, he can't shoot me. Like, oh! He teleported! Uh, he teleported, but he did not heal. So that is... He teleported into a spot that was not the best for me. Once he figured he couldn't do anything, he went this way. Oh, that puts him really close to the portal. Okay, this is not going well because he can get on the underside of those diorite blocks too. Um... Okay, we need to be smart about how we proceed here. I have ideas. See, the easy part was making the farm. Okay, I don't think he could get me now. 
I don't think he could get me. Oh, he can. It's still open. Okay, we need one more block in there. Come on. Okay, we got this. We can do this. Ah! Okay, get on top. Place block there and there. Okay, he's in there. He's in there. Now we're okay. Now we need to make sure none of these blocks are spawnable spaces over in this direction because we do not want him teleporting over here. So what we will do is we will cover this with, are these full blocks or slabs? Those are slabs. We will use this to get me up here to cover those. Those are now not teleportable. Okay. If we break the block that he's on after increasing the platform, he will have nowhere to run to except for onto the platform. So we're gonna break this block, break that block, break that block, put a glass block there. Okay, we break, these are, yeah, we're gonna break all the die right. We're gonna put glass block there too. Break all this. So if you break the die right block that he's on, the only place he'll be able to teleport back to is the slabs and we will increase the slab scale so he has more places to duplicate to. Do, 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 do. Okay. I don't know how big I should make this. Yeah, I know you're mad at me. He's mad, it's fine. I mean, we don't have to go crazy here. This is getting decent. I think that's more than 17 by 17. We'll remove this. Oh, we gotta remove this block. Okay. So yeah, he should just teleport straight out here once we remove that last block. I don't really think we can make this much bigger and have it be of benefit to us, so let's uh, let's try it. Okay, there he is. Heal him. One, two. Do we heal him again? Let's heal him again. So I have three potions. Oh, I got hit. He has not hit himself since I healed him, I don't think. I think he's also technically healing himself when those particles are going. So I don't know that I, I think I might be overdoing how much I'm healing him. I'm not sure. Come on. Okay, he hit himself once. Oh, now we have two. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna heal both of them. I don't know that that got one of them. There, okay. So let's block you off. Okay. We want to try and get, maybe we could get three. Maybe we could get a couple extra just to be safe. Cause then I could bring two over there. Okay, that guy can't hurt me now, right? No, I think we're good. That guy doesn't have any particles coming off of him. So I believe that means that he's fully healed. So the question is like, he's not trying to heal right now. Okay, now he's trying to heal. I think maybe what I do is I wait for the particles to stop. So particles have stopped, which means, okay, we'll help him. If I wait for the particles to stop again, he should be fully healed. I think that might be the smarter way to do this. Then we're not wasting potions left and right. Come on. Okay, one. Come on, wait, wait, don't, no, you're not healed yet. He's not fully healed. He is not fully healed. Okay, now he's fully healed. So we'll go back in. Try and get him to duplicate again. Ah! Okay, I missed the platform. 
We. Oh, he did. He did it. He did it. We have three. We have three. Okay. We're going to let this guy heal. And then we're going to get out of here. Actually, what I should do is I'm going to need a full block. Uh, this guy is who we're going to take over there and we'll leave these two chilling behind. There's the shulker bullets are getting a little out of control now. Okay, so I want that placed there. I don't know if I placed that correctly. Mm, I don't think I placed that exactly where I wanted to place that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, he hurt himself. So many bullets. It's fine. Don't hurt yourself again, my friend. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, that one's taken care of. This guy's kind of hurting himself a little bit. Come on. Okay, we're gonna get you covered up. You're gonna be difficult, though. Ah! He's like on the corner there. You had to be like right on the corner. Like for real. Right there. Okay, I think he's blocked up. I think all three are now blocked up. Oh, that was annoying. Okay. So now we need to make a railroad path again all the way to the farm. Fun times. Let's head home. We'll sleep and we will get a bunch of dirt and start a path. So I think what we'll do is we'll need to, yeah, we'll use these slabs. Do you miss hypertube cannons yet? I haven't really built hypertube cannons yet in Satisfactory. Uh, I just started um, messing with um, boosters at the open and close on the ins and outs and back ins again of hyper tubes and that's been interesting how many how many uh like do you need to actually get a really good boost because i have like three in front of a hyper tube and it gives me a boost but i don't feel like it's super fast i have to do some more um I guess I have to just do some more research on how to do them properly. Oh, I should do this at a nether rack. That would be best. Okay. Because I'm not going to want to pick up the nether rack, and I have so much of it. But yeah, I'm still I'm still learning the ins and outs of hyper tubes. I would honestly, I would just prefer the boost is an exponential increase. Oh, really? Okay. Good to know. So, like, right now, I think I'm only using three. Um, is there a recommended amount for a good speed to get in and out of a hypertube? Actually, I think I might be using four. Like, I have the main entrance, and then I put, like, three boosters in front of it or something like that. Uh, okay, let's grab... Something's going to get thrown away. This is going to go away. We'll do this. We'll do this. So like three is not that much. 10 would be fast and 20 breaks the game. Oh, wow. You really need a bunch, huh? Okay. Good to know. So I should probably do like 10 in front of it to get some good speed. We can do that. So I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to go straight this way. Speed bridging. This is where I am so glad I have Swift Sneak 3. Okay, we do need to make sure we're staying in a line, though. Here we go. You want to see the trick? If I do this, and then I let go of this, and then I just do this, no hands. <laughs> Auto place. Little trick. Little trick I learned. I do have uh, another client side mod called Mouse Willy that will reload my hotbar when I don't, when I run out of an item, as long as I have more in my uh, inventory. I'd recommend actually making a blueprint with like 10 and a few power storage so you can disconnect from grid and launch yourself before it shuts itself down. So, okay, but like when you. Uh, does it work? 
um at just the end or the entrance to just the hypertube because like the cannon itself launches you and then you have to have like I don't know, I call them slime blocks, but then you have to have like a jump pad or whatever at the other end to catch you. If you want to just go crazy fast through a hyper tube, can you do the same thing and just line like 10 of them up at the front of a hyper tube? Jetpack slows yourself down. Can you slow yourself down enough with a jetpack? I don't think about that. Huh. I also worry about getting the trajectory perfect, but I guess if you have, like, the jetpack, you could just take care of it. You can slow yourself down enough with the jetpack. Hmm. I might have to mess with it. I thought, I thought three or four would be enough, and I didn't feel like it was beneficial, but this idea of... I gotta go pick up the one. Okay, catch you later, but thank you for that little information. Ten on a blueprint designer, I think is what I'm going to have to mess with. I just got to be careful not to get stuck. <laughs> that was one slight issue I was having. I don't know what I'm going to run out of another rack. Am I going to run into her base? No. I somehow threaded the needle here. So we got to put an activator rail at the end. So that it teleports in there. And then we gotta let it turn on. And hope to God that it actually works. I'm gonna leave this path here until we actually uh, know that it's working. We're gonna keep going until we hit my island. Am I gonna run out of another rack? If we get if we run out of another rack, we'll go get dirt. I've run out. Okay. We got pretty close. We'll just get dirt. Uh zoop. That's probably more than enough. Oh god, hopefully I'm not gonna run into my tree farm. And I might. I might skirt it. We'll see. We will see. Okay, land, please. Thank you. So, same game. Oops. F3T, let go. Crouch. Boop, boop, boop. No hands. Well, I do have to press control to crouch so I don't fall off, and I'm moving backwards, so I guess hands. Here we go, across the void. It's not really the void. I'm getting close to my island. I'm not gonna bother getting this dirt this time. I'm not gonna bother getting this dirt this time. I gotta keep reminding myself, not get the dirt. Do not go back and pick up the dirt. <laughs> Did my music stop? The music stopped loading. Do we care? Interactive mode. I don't want to use interactive mode. I just want to play more. Why did this thing stop? It's so messed up right now. Okay, forget it. We're going to go with Minecraft music. Amazing. Okay, here we go. Oh no, I forgot to hold crouch. Oh, I wonder if I'm still in block placing mode. We're gonna find out. Uh, zoop. Nah. Did he just text me? Okay. Uh, 
right click, F3T, let go. Oh God, no, is it not gonna do it now? Probably not. Oh, I'm spamming rockets. Dang it, I forgot to hold crouch. Okay, remember to hold crouch this time. Crouch, there we go. Huh. That was derpy. Okay, please don't run into this farm. Oh God. Oh my God. Seriously? That's pretty impressive. Uh, although the bone meal farm is right here. <laughs> that we are going to run into. Okay. But I guess it would have been crazier if I ran not if I didn't run into the bone meal farm. Okay, now we got to go straight out again. So F three T. Okay, we're getting out there. Over to the ocean. We still gotta put the rails down for this too. But that's fine. Oh, shoot, hold on. Are you still on auto place? No. So what I wanna do is let's see here. I would like to... I think we want to get pretty close to it, like here, or wait, we want to go underneath it actually. Uh, no, I don't want to go underneath it. Let's try and go, what am I doing? Do I have scaffolding? I don't even have scaffolding. Hmm. I think we want to go like here. I think that's fine. Pretty sure it'll teleport to the right spot from there. Maybe. Okay, where's the where's the dirt block? It's like right here, I think. Oh, I can't get down. Uh, am I gonna even be able to get into that? Little spot? I don't know. Okay, hold on. This is going to be tricky. Probably made that at the wrong spot. Let's try there. Okay, so that right there is where we now have to somehow magically land. Amazing. Okay, this is going to be possible. It's going to be possible. No, it's not. I can't land in a half block. Okay, first let's break the dirt block up top without breaking all the scaffolding. Amazing, I now have a mob spawner right there. Did not think that through. Okay, sleep, sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. I'm making this more difficult than I need to. Oh, scaffolding. We're just going to do the scaffolding thing before I go insane. Okay. So right here, right, right, right here. What is, uh, what is the height we need to go to? Okay, so this is a bottom slab. I think we want to be here. And I think what's gonna happen is that becomes an activator rail that is powered. So how do we wanna do that? We want to do this and then 
Maybe buttons? I think. Or wait, if I do this, it can't teleport to there. That, it can't teleport to there. That can't teleport to there. And then the front, it won't be able to teleport because that's going to have that. Yeah, and then we just put an activator rail there. Okay, great. So now this we want to get 17 blocks away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Mm, 21, 22, 23. And then we'll pillar up because I'm pretty sure this is where we're going to meet that. So... How much scaffolding do I have in my hand here? Did I just get hit? I'm getting hit by something. Wait, what? This is a Mushroom Island. How? I don't have weapons. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not dying to an invisible spider today. I'm very confused by how there's an invisible spider here. <laughs> okay, it's dead. Things are fine. That was ridiculous. Uh, so we have 13, 59, and whatever is up here for scaffolding. There's one, okay, 60. So we wanna have 77 after that's said and done. Wow, I must be, I must have planned that. <laughs> Because we do. We have exactly 77. Perfect. Amazing. Okay. Now we just take the dirt all the way out there. And then it's rail time. I should have a bunch of rails somewhere. Oh, come on. Make it. I'd love to be able to do the rails going back and send this guy when I get back there instead of doing back and forth. Oh my God, am I gonna run out of dirt? No, definitely not. Why is there a hole in the water over there? Hmm. I wonder what that is. That is weird. I have no clue what's over there. Did I pass this? <laughs> Let's not talk about what just happened. <laughs> Apparently I was wrong as far as the Y level goes. This is almost exact here. <laughs> Shoot. I would have kept doing that. I was not paying enough attention. Really? I didn't need to like do this whole thing and whatnot? Dang, okay, fine. Amazing. So, just for safety, let's just... So can't teleport anywhere over here. There's going to be all rails, yada, yada, yada. We're good. So let's go get an activator rail. Put a bunch of this dirt away. And hope for the best. Um, we have powered rails. We'll need those. We will need a redstone torch as well. Um, which are not in any of this stuff. I feel like I'm missing a shulker box here. I wonder if it's in with this stuff. I dropped one down somewhere over by the bed here, yeah. Okay, activator rail, powered rails, torch. Now we just need a bunch of regular rails and I'm slightly concerned about the lack of rockets. Um, no, not rockets. XP. 
Do I have any bottles of enchanting? There's my sword. Uh, I do not see any. Hopefully we can do this before the elytra breaks. So I should have rails, right? Yes. Uh, whether or not that's enough, uh, unsure currently. We will put a bunch of stuff in here that we definitely aren't gonna need. Not gonna need that. Uh, might need the glass. Might need the diorite. Don't need that. Might need that. Don't need this stuff. Okay, hopefully that is everything we need. So, first things first. Activator rail. Goes over here like that and then we do a rail line all the way back oh i am missing a mine cart furnace i should get that before we get too far let's just do over to here and then get onto the island maybe i should bring a bed no i have a bed back there do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Is it possible I'm going to miss a spot doing this? I'd be very surprised if I missed a spot looking straight down placing these. Hmm. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Let's get to the other side of the island and before we keep going, we'll uh, look for a minecart furnace. So there's like a weird stop every once in a while. And that weird stop is where I slightly worry that I'm not placing a rail. Do, do, do. But seems fine. Okay, cool. Now, can we get a minecart furnace from over here. There is a chance. I still have one. And it's a good chance. Look at that. I feel like we're doing good. Two minutes. Let's get some fuel for this thing. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but hopefully it's enough. Can I get to the other side in a minute and a half? Probably not. We will see. Ba, 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 da, da. So the goal here is minecart furnace this guy all the way into the farm. I hope it works. It's not turned on or anything. I'm going to have to quickly fly in there and turn it on somehow. That's fine. I might try and beat him over there to turn it on. Ah, we're to the nether rack. Somebody's calling me. It is spam. We will close it. Decline spam, please. Thank you very much. I am under a time crunch. I don't think I'm going to get there in a minute. <laughs> I got to go quick because otherwise uh, things are going to start spawning on this. In fact, I might just bail and sleep. Because this would be bad. I see an light down there. Minute. 30 seconds. I am so not making this. 20 seconds. Oh no, it's getting close. Do I risk it? <sighs> Things are going to start spotting in seven seconds. Spam left voicemail. Things are going to start spawning. I'm not risking it. We're sleeping. Close enough. Oh man, I can't believe I left my rockets over here. Sleep. <laughs> Definitely not risking that. Um, while we're here though, I'm not trying to get in the portal. What are you doing? Who left a voicemail from spam? That's surprising to me. We bleep. Okay, saving on the powered rails using a hopper mine. Um, 
That was the first one that didn't place, and I actually caught that one. So I feel good. Oh, boy. This is slightly nerve-wracking, but I think we can do it. Come on. Almost there. At least we have two backups over here. That does make me feel better. There is the water that we want to drain eventually. And I have powered rails on me, which is also important to help pick up this guy. Send him on his way. Okay. We are on the platform. So let's think about this. We want to go here, here, and then connect this way. Are you kidding? Am I really one shy? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so this we're going to have to be smart about. We don't need this here, but what we do need is this, this. Oh, okay. So that's gonna have to be powered too, but I think we can do that by just placing that there. Oh, not there, there. And then, so we're gonna have to place this block goes here. This goes there. And then we place that there. And we'd be ready with all of these things. Okay, so we place this, then we place this, and then we place this, and then we do this, and then we do this. Don't hit me. Go, 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 go. How is he still going? Okay, he's going. We're gonna just keep an eye on this. It won't despawn in the mine cart, but the momentum might slow down. Eventually. Yeah, he's slowing down there. So hopefully one bump by the hopper mine cart should push him. Is the hopper mine cart slowing down? Hmm, I can't tell if the hopper minecart's slowing down or not. No. Okay, so that just gave him a push. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think the hop I think he's moving faster than the hopper minecart's keeping up with him. Why is the hopper minecart so slow? Like, dude. Keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. I think he's stopped over there. Don't let him go. I have three coal. You can make it. How much coal to go with this thing? Once I see the farm come into render distance. I'm going to load this up and then I'm going to try to get to the farm. He stopped there. I guess once I see the, the uh, raid farm, I can go. I'm going to stand back a little bit so he doesn't hit me. Okay. He's been bumped. No raid farm yet. I think I just see the entity there. Okay, the beginning of the raid farm is coming into frame. Okay, cool. One, two. Let's see if we can get over and turn this sucker on. So there's... Not this level. Hopefully this level. Nope, next level. Uh, there's the one lever right here. 
Okay, and then there's one more on and off lever right there. Okay. So, how far has our minecart furnace gone? Not far at all. In fact, it's almost like stopped over here. So let's uh, let's see where we're at with this guy. Is he going to make it all the way? Oh, I'm too close. Okay, he's shot at me. He is not making it all the way. That's fine. So we're going to do this. And it's going, it's going, it's going. And we're going to stay over here and see what happens. He's in the farm. I don't believe he is in the correct position. Oh, where do you go? I think, oh, he is in the correct position. Oh, I think we got a dupe. I think we got a duplication. Yep. That's two. Aha. We're getting there. So this chamber in here should slowly start to fill up. We got one right there. Yes. I believe we have success. Oh, yeah, buddy. I think it's working. I think it's working. It takes a little bit of time to really start ramping up. We got to make sure we got enough going. Oh, yeah, look, two just duped out. Three, four up there. So what eventually happens is they all start to coalesce in this one spot and then take entity cramming damage. I think it's all working though. Okay, while that's going, let's, uh, let's try and clean up our mess. We'll start over on this side here. Let that go for a bit. Yeah, that's totally working. We now have a shulker farm over here. I need to get um, the storage of it further to the ground now. Because right now, I do have concerns that it's uh, slightly risky to go actually pick up items from it. Okay, we're gonna come in here, break this thing. Okay. Break this, break this, break this, break this. Let's break all of this. Because where the storage is, is dangerous for me to get to. So if I make like a hopper line to the ground, I should be okay. Just break all that stuff. Go pick some of it up, I guess, because why not? We're just gonna let it run for a bit. I mean, really, I don't think I actually need to stop it. It's not like one of those farms that breaks if, uh, if I unload it. So we'll just stay over here for a minute while it's going. Huh, we got five chilling out now. I wonder if they're taking, yeah, they're taking a decrim damage too. Nice, nice, it's working. That's cool. I guess I really didn't need the backup. Like once he got in place, it was like smooth sailing. Like really not bad at all. I am pleasantly surprised by that. And now we will have a really good supply of shulker shells. See, I kind of want all this stuff. 
I also don't want anything spawning up here since this is not in the mushroom biome area. So I gotta be careful about that. Oh, it's getting dark. It is getting dark. I wanna finish this first. I don't care about picking the stuff up, but I do want to not have to fly back up here. I wanna focus on tearing down the rail and maybe I'll grab like 17 hoppers. Okay, sleep, hoppers, and a chest. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to line this up pretty precisely. Uh, now we need a chest. We'll just grab that from over here. I think I have a chest of chests. If I'm not mistaken, we should. One, two, yes. Okay, let's go back over there. Pick up all that stuff that we dropped. Cause kind of want a lot of it, honestly. It's all starting to float. Yay. All the goodies. I don't care about the dirt. We'll stay over on this side. I kind of do want to pick up the rails. Ah, it's fine. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Now, I think what I want to do is attempt to line up a double chest with this chest. So where is that? That's there. Oop. So what is it, like here? Okay, so if I put a double chest here, I'm going to need scaffolding to do this. Which could be dangerous, because they might try and teleport to it. You know what? I'm just going to use a block to place the last one. Okay, can I do this? Oh boy, this is going to get dangerous. Am I going to even reach? I'm not even going to reach. Bailing! Okay, let's go get more scaffolding. Man, this thing just keeps running whether I'm there or not. I absolutely love that aspect of it. If I have a... I wonder if I do. If I put a uh, portal loader there, a chunk loader, if it'll also keep going. Okay, I have to somehow land on top of this hopper. Amazing. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. No, 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 no. Okay, so we're gonna back off to the side. Oh, see, that's concerning. Oh, God. Mistakes have been made. <laughs> okay, so that was the concern I had about getting too close. Okay, hold on, I can deal with this. I just need to like get underneath there and break the dirt. Okay, I missed. God, oh boy. There's still plenty inside of the thing. Oh God, we're gonna start to have cows flying soon. Okay, here we go. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it and I don't think anything broke. I think we're okay. I think they all teleported back into the farm. There's a lot of shulker bullets coming at me though. Oh God. Okay, okay, okay. We're okay, we're okay. As long as they're coming at me, don't go anywhere else. I'm slightly worried that I might need to light up under here. I can't tell. Okay, come on. As long as it's not light level zero. I guess we can do that real quick while we're floating. Oh, they're gonna start shooting at me though. Okay, we gotta get further away from the farm then. Let's go over here. I still see them teleporting into the crux spots, so that's good. Okay, so light level, render, overlay light level, true. Okay, I have no idea. Okay. It's fine. Huh. Many things. Why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've already got like a stack? That's just crazy. 
We're okay, right? Everything's still going. Nothing broke because of that. I don't think so. I didn't break anything. No. These guys are still shooting up at them. Great. Okay. I feel good about that. I think we've done it. And I guess I could, like, try and fly up and turn it off. Or just let this thing load up for a while. No, I'm going to try and turn it off without dying. Okay, here we go. So I'm pretty sure it's just this one. Oh, God, I forgot to actually... Hold on, did my elytra just break? Ew. Ha! <laughs> uh... My elytra just broke. That is not expected. I have a solution. I have a solution though. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> I guess I guess there was worse times for that to break. That out of all the times for it to break, that was not that bad. I I think that's the first time I've actually broken an elytra. That's crazy. Okay, so this is my thought. We'll just get rid of all this stuff. We'll do this. And then I believe if I put a lever on here. Oh, actually, I think I could just break it, right? There we go. Look at all that XP. Amazing. Fixed. Uh, where did all these end up? Okay, let's put the furnaces back. Boop, boop. They're like in here, aren't they? And there's one. I'll have to put the fuel back eventually. Emergency smelting uh, XP. I love it. Empty, empty. Take all that, take all that, take all that, take all that. Cool. We'll just fill this up. Two, three, four. Okay, uh, going back there, I think uh, what I wanna do is wait till there are like couple more up here and then turn it off. Hopefully that turned it off and hopefully there are still plenty of shulkers up here. I think. Right? Is that going to hit me? That's totally going to hit me. <laughs> One of them targeted me. I wonder if that's because I turned it off. So it should be off now. I think but I can't quite tell. Uh, it definitely... Are they still targeting it? Um... Huh. Weird. Well, the snow golems aren't firing anymore. So maybe it's just a matter of time until those bullets die down? Or are they shooting at this guy? I think I, I think the bullets are dying down. I can't tell. Uh, they're still like shooting at each other, but not it's not as crazy. Definitely not as crazy. I see only one bullet going up and down, which I think, oh, it's done. So I think the farm is off now. And we have a bunch right there. We, ha we have this guy still in the chamber here. And then we have I guess those don't stay. They all go to the chamber. Okay, great. Oh, 
I'd fall in a hole. Come on. Am I in water? I'm in water now. So how many did we get just from that little side? Ah, Sean, that's a lot. That is insane. Amazing. That's pretty crazy, actually. Uh, cool. So I feel good about that. That's a lot of uh, materials. That's a lot more than I'm pretty sure that other farm was producing. And this one is in a nice location because it's in the industrial area, which I will be frequenting quite more than that other area for the time being. I'm not going to take down the other farm. Just at least for now, eventually I might, but anyway, we should sleep. That's pretty darn good. It definitely is a nice little skyscraper over there. Eventually I'll have to decorate it. I don't know how I'm going to decorate it, but eventually I will need to. Should get this cleaned up a little bit better. <laughs> eventually I'll land on this thing properly. Amazing. I don't really care about the dirt, but the rails are annoying. Kind of want to keep the rails. Eventually, I got to create a dirt farm, too. Okay. So I think I'm going to just clean up this annoying bridge, and then we're going to call it. Hmm. If I stand on the side and then, like, oops. Can I do this? Amazing. Forget it. This is quicker. We can forget about the rails. We're just going to do this. I will have to switch to the pickaxe, which will kind of ruin it, but that's fine. As long as it's quick and I can just kind of run through and do it, that'll be amazing. Just kind of aim correctly. I will be having to make a turn here somewhere. It's coming up to go around this thing. Uh-oh. Dirt has gotten into the system. <laughs> That's fine, right? That's not a big deal. No. I'm sure we'll have to clear that out at some point. Or maybe if it's uh, fully... Oh, God. That's going right in there. You know, it's probably fully clogged with bone meal. It'll just eventually despawn. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no. I didn't think about that. We're cleaning up our messes before we call it a day. I don't want to leave any messes behind. Farm's working, so I definitely don't need these rails. And we can always dupe the rails if we really had to. Good, it's good. We're gonna have to switch to the pickaxe when we get over to the nether rack area. Like right here, apparently. Switching to pickaxe. Oh, it's still working. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can get. There we go. Look at how quick that is. And this is a straight shot till we get over to the platform. It's a little messy. Leaving a little junk on the ground here, but that's okay. At least I'm cleaning up the giant rail line in the sky. I'm so happy this is working. The amount of shells that we got for like no time is crazy to me. That is good. Is that, I wonder if she terraformed that or added the moss down there. She must have, right? Uh, if she ever signs on again, there's just going to be a whole bunch of netherrack and rails across her entire island. <laughs> ah, it's fine. It's fine. And we have two extra shulkers now, which is good. I still have the other shulker farm running. Oh, crap. I totally forgot about that. We will turn that off when we get back. This The portal one is still running. That's not good. Shulker shells for days. Unlimited shulker shells. Love it. 
Oh, come on. I think we're getting to the ocean monument soon. We're gonna have to redirect the ocean monument drops to the industrial district at some point. Almost there. We're almost there. So much netherrack. Okay, so that is the ocean monument outline. Hello, encrypted. You've come for the end. I'm just cleaning up my massive mess that I made. The shulker that I brought over in February, I accidentally killed. <laughs> Well, actually, he technically he killed himself. I was trying to get him to duplicate, so I had a backup over there, and he died. Been in meetings all day? Uh, meetings are no fun. It's a lot of meetings. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't mean to break that. Hold on, I'm still on auto-click, aren't I? Come on, stop. Okay, we're clean. Okay, so we have these two guys over here, and we forgot to turn this thing off. Oh! Eventually, I will have to decommission this guy now that we have the other one. This one, it served us well. Yeah, it's still running. I actually should take a look and see in the uh, nether how much drops we got from just leaving that on. Oh, and I left my rocket box out again? Oh my god, okay. Well, it's a good thing we're back over here. Let's get the rocket box and clean up this mess. Okay. And that will be the last time we run that farm, hopefully ever. Um, what? Are they just dying on the floor? Where is this going? These should be going... Oh, yeah, okay, it's working. There's so many! <laughs> I let this go for too long. They're all now spitting out. Oh, boy. And going to the storage area. And maybe you should just let this... Go for a while. Maybe I should just grab them. Maybe I should just hop over here and just grab these to make it easier. How many is that? That's like a stack <laughs> and more. Is there still more? There's still more coming. Are we done? Okay, cool. Let's bring these over to the industrial district because that's where they're going to... We're going to have to reroute all of this to the industrial district soon. Probably when I go to redo that farm to the new style. Okie dokie. To the industrial district. I feel like I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. Industrial district is this way. Have I passed it? No. There we go. Okay. So... We'll put these shells with the others from the farm. Oh, so glad that this thing is working. This produces so many more shulker shells than an overworld nether farm. How many do we think are in here? How many are like right there? What does it say? 304, what? Maybe I gotta look at it from like here. 30, that makes sense. Spent the weekend at a, at a board game convention. Wait, 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 did you? Was it the same convention that Joe Hills went to? In Nashville, Tennessee? The only re so Joe Hills was talking about a board, uh, a, uh, a board game convention that he was going to over the weekend. Maybe? I, you didn't see him? <laughs> but it's possible? Yeah. I remember him talking about it on stream last week that he was going to, and that's funny. The second you said it, I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's the same one! I mean, like, how many how many board game conventions could possibly going be going on at the same time, so... Okay, let's go put this stuff away. Oh, there's so much in the ocean, like... I'm such a sucker for this. Like, I really want these rails. 
Can I get a dolphin to pick them up for me and bring them to me? <laughs> It'd be cool if dolphins were more useful like that. Be hard to see him in the sea of nerdy guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure there's probably a bunch, bunch of people there. He'd blend in pretty well. If it weren't for the fact that I know very much what he looks like, well, actually, you know what? In a bunch of nerdy guys, he probably looks like a bunch of nerdy guys. So yeah, yeah, he probably does blend into that group. His voice is a little distinctive. What are you doing with my dirt? Get out of here. Uh, so wait, are you a, you're a board game guy? I have I I think we've probably had this conversation before. Uh, yeah, if I heard his voice, I'd recognize him totally. Absolutely. I don't... So, I'm very specific in the type of board games that I'll play. I love, um... What a... Like, there's this very specific style of escape room games. I don't even know if you'd call them board games, but they're like card games. Um... And it's the one where it's like a... Uh, you have... What is it? Red and blue numbers... And you have to solve different things to add the numbers up. And that those numbers added up tell you what cards to flip. And you like work, uh, you work together in this escape room style fashion to like solve the puzzle and stuff. Uh, I don't think they're the exit games, but those are like my style. One of my coworkers has been trying to get me to go to the convention for like eight years. He helps with managing part of the board game trading stuff they do. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. I see, I see, I see. So, so somebody kind of brought you, convinced you, we'll say, to go with them. <laughs> it's getting dark. I should sleep. Ow. I thought my bed was right. Oh, there it is. I passed it. We should grab this because this has a bunch of stuff in it. I do own like a few dozen board games myself. Uh, I, I have a few. My wife really loves to do the board game thing. Um, I have a friend who has an entire room filled with board games, like crazy amounts of board games. Uh, so wait, did it all despawn? Is that, was that the five minute marker? Okay, good. That kind of forces me not to like try and pick it all up. So that's probably for the best. Uh, yeah, my coworker that does the trading stuff has hundreds and hundreds. That's insane. I have like a small cabinet. I got maybe like 20. He just sold a, he sold a hundred, jeez. Okay, well, you know, everybody has their own thing. But yeah, I don't, I don't like competitive type board games. I'm very much into the collaborative type board games. So that's why I like the, uh, and pretty, it's either exit or unlock. I forget the exact um, type, but I really like those kind. Um, you like the cooperative board games? Oh, hold on. I want to see if you've ever heard of this one. One sec. Let me find this one. Okay, so like, this is, it was unlock. These are the unlock games. I probably have like, I don't know, 10 to 12 of these. The bummer about these ones are they're one-time playthrough, but because they're, they're pretty simple, it's just like, it's pretty much just a deck of cards. So it's just a deck of cards, but it works just like any normal escape room game. So what we do is we like share them with our friends and stuff because they're pretty, Pretty cool to hang out and send two people to try and play. But this one was one of my favorites for a while. Forbidden Desert. There's a couple 
of these forbidden type things. And these are neat. They're they're not quite escape rooms, but they like you kind of build a map with them that changes over time and every time you play the game it's like a different map and stuff and you have to like work together to um build a machine and try and get out of the desert so it's kind of like escape room but not not exactly like the regular escape room style you've heard of you've you, oh you've got forbidden desert yeah i've got forbidden, yeah those are that that style was uh for a while one of my like real favorite types there was another one that they came out with uh afterwards that i didn't like as much it was a little too uh difficult for my brain to handle why isn't this clicking there we go that was a weird delay um a little too difficult for my brain to handle it was good and my wife liked it but it was just like one of my favorite games is hanabi i don't actually know that one that one does not ring a bell to me. Is it played probably thousands of games of it now? Is it what style is it? Is it kind of like the escape room game style? Uh, let's clean up the observers. Those can go away. Um, oh God, what are you doing here? You know, like you would think that those would be deterrents from you and your kind. Do you have anything interesting? I like these mini white concrete blocks. Hold on. I will take some of those mini white concrete blocks. Those are interesting. Uh, it's a cooperative deduction game. Has has a card game and a tile version. Okay, I'm writing this down because that sounds like something my wife would be interested in too. H A N a b i i'm also gonna have to check with my board game aficionado friend see if he's heard of it okay so i've got these okay where are you where are you i want i want these really only one trade okay that's kind of sad but i am glad i got that block oh the mini barrels I kind of want the mini barrels too. Okay, hold on. Don't go anywhere. Um, uh, you draw four or five cards depending on the number of players, but you can't look at your own cards. You have a pool of clues you can give. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check that out. I'm, I'm very basic, so I like... If I could follow the instructions and they're not difficult then and it's cooperative then more than likely I enjoy, i'll enjoy the game okay i want those i should make a mini block chest over here you will be my mini block chest okay so this has mini blocks hopefully i understand that that is referring to mini blocks um and on your turn you can do one of three things give in all or nothing color or number clue to another player about their cards his cards discard one of the cards to get a clue black clue back or play a card and the goal is to play all the numbers of each color in order from one to five if you play an incorrect card three times you strike out and the game is over oh interesting okay that does sound that does sound like a fun game I'm going to have to see if uh, my friend's heard of it for sure. Okay. Now you're going to die. Oh, you son of a gun. Get out of here. No, go away. Go away. If you play in correctly, the fun is in reasoning out how you can make clues meaningful. To, to give to the other people playing. What's the minimum number of people that uh, you can play with? Like, do you usually... I don't like that. I thought that was going to stack a little bit nicer. Do you usually play with, like, a group of four or two? Oh, you can play with a group of two. Oh, okay. Okay. I want you to place here like that. Amazing. But it's better with three plus. I might have to bring that on my next uh, vacation then. 
Okay, this is going away, this is going away, this is going away. Put this here, this... Seriously, what can I get rid of here? Oh, I didn't need to make armor stands. I had armor stands. Are you kidding? I guess this can go away. This goes here. That goes there. Uh, two is kind of rough. The tiles are a lot easier to play with than the cards, but obviously less portable. Well, maybe I could bring it. I mean, I'm going on that vacation in April, so a good card game for me and my friends to play would be good. There's also a free website version of it. Mm, that might be better for us. Uh, what am I doing? So I want to put the redstone over here. Glowstone goes over here. I'm trying to clean up my life after the last two big projects we had going on. We can put this over in here. This stuff all stays together. This is empty and this is empty. I've got two empty ones. The rest of it, I think, goes back to my base for potion brewing. Hanab dot dot live. H A N A B dot live. Okay. I will I will let you know if my friends heard of it and if we do end up trying it. Okay, so this becomes this is the junk one. Well we could take the scaffolding. Scaffolding goes here. They had to remove the eye from Hanabi at some point to avoid getting in trouble. I mean, that's an easy way around it. Black sand glass. I bet you I could just put the rest of this stuff in here and make it a future me problem. Uh, which one looks the most disorganized? Let's go with this one. I This stuff is very specific to potion brewing, so we'll bring all that back to my base. These blocks can actually go here. There's a bunch of different versions of the game you can play to make it more difficult. I am kind of curious to see if my friends would, if I would like it and if they would like it. Um, where's redstone stuff here? By default, there's a multicolor you can play with or without that it comes with two. Multicolor? Does the multicolor thing make it more difficult then? Sleep, 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 sleep. I'm, I'm about to just eat this golden apple. I'm doing it. Golden apple eating. Uh, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Golds can go in here. Kind of randomly feel like putting carved pumpkins in there. Uh, this can go over here. I guess we'll put these in here. Polished andesite slabs. Those can go over here. So if you clue someone a color, it gets clued as every color. Ah, so that's how it becomes more of a difficult thing then. Oh, did I use all of my... Ugh, I was supposed to save a shulker box for the floor. That's fine. That's fine. What else do we got in here? Okay, that's empty. How do we got here? Okay, good. There's a Discord for it with like crazy long document dissecting play to a crazy level. So people, people go nuts for this game, huh? <laughs> I don't know why I need a shulker shell farm. I have all these empty shulker boxes. I might have not. I might have overdone it here. Some some people. Vicky? Yeah. So Encrypted's told me about a game we might want to look into bringing with us maybe when we go to Australia. Uh -oh. It's a card game. Oh. It's a card game. He said potentially better with like three people, but you can play with two people, and it's a cooperative thing called Hanabi. Does that sound familiar at all? No. Mm. Maybe look it up, see if it's something that you would find interesting. So, like, you buy, like, a deck of cards? 
a deck of cards or tiles, which I don't 100% understand what that means. I'd have to probably visually see it to quite get that. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. In my head, I didn't. I was showing Encrypted. He's got, he just went to a board game convention over the weekend, but he has Forbidden Desert as well. Yes. So, talking board games. <laughs> are, are you hungry? Okay, I'm probably going to wrap it up in like 15 minutes if that's okay with you, and then we could do dinner after that. Uh, okay, so putting this stuff away. What went there? Was that the yellow one? Yeah, okay. That was the golden stuff. Uh... Also played a game this weekend called No Thanks that I kind of like. Wait, No Thanks? Really? <laughs> that that sounds interesting. It's probably better with like four or five people though. I don't know that many people. <laughs> I know, I know, uh, no, that's not true. I guess I know four people. I could get four people together for a game at some point in my life. Uh, so, like, was the convention about showing off new games and stuff? I don't really know what you do at a board game convention. I'm guessing you play board games, but I'm assuming, like, oh, I had so many barrels already. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. The convention was just about played games pretty much okay i see and people did a lot of selling and trading of games selling and trading that's cool i feel like i should have told mark about that because nashville he's louisville kentucky is that far from nashville you think I don't, my friend is uh is currently working on a, a movie in louisville kentucky probably should have told him about it he would have totally gone it's a bit of it's a bit of a drive. I can't think geographically where all that stuff is. Let's put this here. Let's put the potion stuff back in here. Uh, let's put this back over here. Coal can go in the ores. Block of coal. And there, what was that? Was that that was that was you? You making piggy sounds over there? <laughs> oh, you jumping outside of factory? Yeah, of course, of course. Three hours? That's actually not that bad. I drive six hours regularly. I should have definitely told him. Oh well, I didn't think about it. He would have loved that. But I am gonna have to ask him if he knows this game. Uh, I'm gonna also have to ask him about this other game too, No Thanks. We're like, they premiering new games at this thing? Uh, okay, that's good there. There were a lot of, there were a lot of good deals on games. Uh, Mark, he has, how many, ga how many games does he, does he have, do you think? It's a lot, every, every game known to man, you would say? Yeah, he's a little over the top with it. He's he uh he's definitely a crazy boy about those games. They did a thing called Play to Win where it was like a pool of pretty new games. And what if you won the game you got to keep it? Are there chickens spawning over here? That's interesting. I'm randomly getting chickens spawning over here. Um or if you went and played them, you could get your name. Oh, and a drawing for it. Ah, I mean, that's a good way to promote your games, though. That's that's kind of cool. Is this thing, like, overflowing? I haven't checked this in forever. Eh, it's not that crazy. And this is almost empty again. Did this stop working? Hold on, let's... No, it's still going. I just don't think I've AFK'd here long enough for it to quite work out. Uh, okay, cool. I'm gonna call it. My inventory is clean. I like to have a clean inventory before I, when I'm done with a project like that. I feel good. Uh, I gotta really think about which farm I'm gonna work on next. Whether it's gonna be the honey farm 
or the new iron farm or the new barter farm. I don't know. Maybe I should actually build something over here. <laughs> uh, continue my base. My All my creative energy has gone into block breaking right now. So like, since I'm really focusing on that as a series, it's slightly harder for my brain to want to do creative stuff over here. I like doing all my technical stuff over here for right now. Anyway, good to see you again, Encrypted. I will be back tomorrow. I'm probably streaming tomorrow, and then I might be gone for a week because I'm I'm going to a film convention in New York City, uh, where they're showing off like new camera gear and lighting gear and stuff um, for the weekend. And I'm leaving Thursday. I don't think I could stream Wednesday, but who knows how it'll how Wednesday is going to go. Um, but I 